All right, we are back yes. at Made in America with another amazing guest. <laughs> you may have seen her on in the uh, Beyonce's uh, mm-hmm. first album. Uh, she was in the background uh, doing her vocals. Was she born yet? Yes, yeah, she, she was, was absolutely born. born. She was just a twinkle in her daddy's eye. Uh, we are with Damaris. Damaris, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty Now, first good. of all, let me apologize because in my uh, acting debut, in my thespian of a piece of the great Bishop Tupac Shakur. Yes. Mm-hmm. You caught a stray. And I, yeah. I, I, I just wanted to apologize. I didn't. It was just acting. It was just energy. I didn't mean to you own, come come to you like that. You know, there was other people that caught strays. You haven't apologized. Well, they have They're here. Well, they <laughs> well, Ed and I apologize. I didn't mean to. I know you were scared. I'm so sorry. Um. But I want to apologize to Maris because everybody was hitting like, damn, what did Maris do? And, you know, Thank you. It just I, I love you. I just, it was people that had not seen Juice before. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. You I look was... great. What is this number you're wearing? Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. You ain't even peep. I just peep. Yeah. You see what she did with the accent? Look at the accent. Oh, you, you see what she did with the teal? <laughs> you see what she did with the teal? go with the teal with the fit- on the teal yeah. on the heel? I, I like it. Wait, I even peeped yep. the hair with the maroon. It's something light. Yo, fuck out of your So it's always something light. Whenever you, my eyes and tell me it's something light. Whenever you match light. the stitching, it's yeah, like yeah, oh, it's something, something light. You know? I didn't even think I didn't even see that until yeah. you pointed me, it out. Keep it real. Fuck out of here. Five. How you she feeling though? Your five. first made in America? It's hot. Is it your first one? Is yeah, it's, it's, first my, one? it's my first made in America. How you feeling? Who you want to see? Um, I really, really Too bad you gotta work. Yeah. Right. No, you but, won't see her. Not with that ass. No, I'm going to see Victoria Monet. Somebody else will be That's tomorrow, right? Now Victoria's here. Yeah. Is that today yeah, or tomorrow? That's, that's tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. But she, Victoria and she, Snow. I know yeah. contractually we're not allowed to shit on Main America, nor do I want to, but why is Victoria on at 3 o'clock? Uh, she probably had things to do and wants to get out of here. <laughs> Victoria. That's how it happens sometimes. Because oh, yeah. I got to catch sure. a flight. Like They want to get out of here. So, yeah. um, But I yeah, I, I do want to see Victoria, Victoria Monet. She's amazing. and Snow. And uh, Flo Millie, actually. I really want to see Flo Millie. Flo, Flo is fire. Millie. Jasmine. You want to see Jasmine? I've seen Jasmine like three times. I do want to see Jasmine again, but... I'll be working, I think, when Jasmine's on. So okay. I think I'm going to end up missing Jasmine. I'm sad about that, but... Well, we're I here. Mean, we're we're going to try to run back and forth. And for those watching on video, it's just going to keep changing frames because we're trying to make this a full episode, but also interview people. Yeah. So we're going to be potting. We'll be going back and forth. We had to turn the AC back on. So if the audio changed, I'm sorry. Turn AC We would down. either die of fucking heat exhaustion no, I need or that. Not. We need that AC. Bro. And that's the only way we can get guests. Yeah. Hey, there's an AC in here. You want to talk to us? We are in an uh, Airstream. It's a nice setup that Duce gave us. Mm-hmm. But we need the AC on. So if we have to sacrifice some of the audio, we apologize in advance, but mm. we can't be sitting in here like chicken breast. Won't, we can't can't do it. I'm fine. Out of, out of everything, you said yeah, chicken breast. Yeah, you know when you put chicken breast in the oven, they get start sweating. You know that. <laughs> Side note, it's Eden's birthday this weekend. Yes. Feliz cumpleaños. It's his quinceañera. <laughs> Is it your quinceañera this weekend? <laughs> And then how old are you turning? Oh, you're turning 28, right? <laughs> His documents say 16. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just seen the Little League World <laughs> Series this past summer. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right fucking here. Danny Almonte over here. Danny Almonte. <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Oh, I love Eddie, man. So what, what are we doing for, uh, for Eddie's birthday? Are we going to do a Philly thing? Should we do something in New York? I tried that yesterday. It's all about that yeah, how, y'all went out last night? How was the hookah lounge? Oh, I went lounge? to bed at 10 p.m. How was the hookah lounge last night? The hookah night? lounge was, it was just young ratchets. Like young, so young girls. Oh, that's saying, That's Eddin's. Oh, saying, hey, like it. Wasn't feeling it? Hey. And they Isn't were that playing, what you like, do? But you know, yeah. Oh, if you don't like the ratchet, then it's not, it's not the right ratchet. They were cute. The girls were cute. They were just really young. They okay. Really, like 21 year old girls twerking. And yeah. Screaming A and. And Philly plays very uh, Philly music, so it wasn't like dancing music. It was like shoot a lot, people. A lot of aggressive I snares. Felt more at risk the further they play each other. Okay. Yeah. You felt like they played a lot, a lot of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gun you down. Mm-hmm. Spin around. That's fine. We'll, yep. <laughs> we'll take we'll take end to say less, and he can take a photo in front of the neon sign. In front of the, uh, what is it? The, the dragon that they have on the steps? Yeah, what does that yeah, say yeah. less? Another, well, another lap around the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ew, that's, that's really nasty. Well, do you we, still do the the uh, Earth Day birthday thing yeah, in the comments? That's your thing. What is the uh, significance? Is that like five percent or do I need to do the knowledge? No, it's, just that, it's just that you're on Earth. So so happy birthday! You, right, you've on been on Earth. the Earth for however many years. Okay, yeah, that's all. Yeah, the um, Earth has done a complete three sixty. Yeah. Yeah, so around yeah, around you, the world does revolve around you. Yeah, it does. Contrary to popular belief. So and I'm thinking dinner. We could do dinner for Ed in here. Yeah, we'll have a. <laughs> 
<laughs> Taking somebody to Taco Bell for their birthday is absolutely terrorism. <laughs> That's terrorism. So, Adam, do you want to do Italian, Mexican? Come on, you know what he wants to do. Italian. Adam, you look like you could be Italian. Yeah, if he slicked his hair back and yeah, drove yeah, yeah, Ultima, yeah. he could definitely. a different hairstyle. Yeah, different hairstyle. Do the, do the chin strap with your beard. <laughs> you'd be Italian. Out. Yeah. You got to wear jeans and a button up shirt, though. That's how you look Italian. Yeah, absolutely. And hard bottom shoes. With a terrible chain. Yep. You could definitely pass. Yeah, absolutely. A guido. Is that a racist term? Guido, yeah. It, is. it might be. Guido is definitely, yes. Well, it's a not, not a term of endearment. Guinea, guido. Yeah, it's all bad. Because what do they call Americans? Americans. No, Cub- what do Cubans call Americans? Gringos. Gringos. No, that's what they call white people, period. Oh, yeah. Like, you're American, but you wouldn't be a gringo. I would be a gringo. No, I think they would call me a gringo still. Oh, no. Really? Gringo is white people, for sure. You think that... Cubans would call you uh, American. <laughs> what you think they would call no, you? No, they're definitely La Negra. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Matter of fact, they, the only yeah. time the only time I knew Jay Electronica was talking about me when we were in Mexico was when I heard Gringo. It sparked my ears. Like, oh, he's, <laughs> he's referring to Oh, me. you need me in the kitchen? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am the Gringo. Yes, me. <laughs> so who are you guys looking forward to interviewing? Not seeing. Um, it's a good question. I would love to sit with, uh, with Snow. Mm, yeah. I would love to talk to Snow because she doesn't do a lot. I don't see a lot of Snow interviews. Mm-hmm. She doesn't. So um, I would love to sit and talk with her. Jid, just because the album and that's that's family. So that's yeah. really good. I don't think he's going to talk to us, but Tori Emoy is, has been one of my favorite artists for like a yeah. while. I also don't even know what to ask him. Yeah, I, I feel like, that's why I feel like he you. would be offended, like not offended, but would just be wondering why someone was asking questions in an interview. Yeah, Toro is <laughs> one of those guys that operates like on his own time. Yeah. So it's kind of like, what do you ask him? He's like, he's looking at you like, why are you talking to me? Like, this is not my talking hours. Uh, yeah. Like, he's one of those guys. He uh, looks like. Are you? Rick, and then we could, we could have Ruben? him. We could have Toro all the way fucked up. He could come here and be like, yo, what's up? Ain't no bitches out here. Like, what the f- <laughs> Like, yo, I had no idea you was one of us. Like, I thought you was a mutant. I didn't know. But I've noticed that with a lot of, like, the fake, well, not fake, but, like, the conscious rappers that, like, really be getting into deep shit, they be the biggest dirtbags. Oh, Mm -hmm. 1,000%. Like, by far. Yeah, that's just the cover. They they operate under those covers, and once the lady get along with the ladies, those are the ones that ends up on the fucking podium talking about, I did not touch that woman. (laughs) Yes, you did. (laughs) And, I mean, I I don't want to... uh, insult Kendrick's album because I'm glad he got through all the things he got through but that album at the end of the day was like yo I was a woke rapper but I was really texting every bitch that I met <laughs> oh yeah yeah for sure <laughs> yeah for sure he was talking all that shit on to Pimple Butterfly and was in every bitch's DMs <laughs> I love the, I love where they have us they have us right in the artist village artist village kind of yes. like right in the cut kind of like yeah if you want to go talk to those guys they're over there baking in the fucking uh, aluminum can over there <laughs> Somebody grab this, Elliot. I want to have Pod Wars. Oh, yes. That and Ad Wars. Yeah, where's Elliot at, Can you man? Can grab Elliot, Julian? Let's get Elliot in here. Right over there. Let's get Elliot in here to, to talk a little bit. Pod Wars. You going to talk your shit that you were talking about? Uh, him and B-Dot? Him and B-Dot? Yeah, they're not really friends. They're business partners. We, they we don't have like to ask other. that. Um, I was talking with Elliot. They did an ad read for us. Uh, they did? Did they? Yeah. What was so, it about? So now I'm, I, I don't know whatever Stitcher sent them over as copy, but okay, it did make me want to go a little, little harder on our ass, add a little more sauce to it. I didn't like that we were politically correct. I want to talk some more shit. <laughs> well, no, we kind of, we had fun with it. Did they, which one did they accept? Did they accept the one that we had fun with? I don't know. I did the first one. So yeah. Okay. I hope they, I hope they kept that one. We had fun with that one. Well, yeah, I think, I think we could have some, some fun conversation with Elliot. About oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Is B dot here? I do not. Ask, well, they don't like each other. So. As to my theory, can't wait to talk to him. What's it's funny seeing you and not your uh, your business partner. Well, I have been to Made in America for the past fucking ten years, and you haven't come with me once. You, you also weren't uh, working for Made in America. Five wars, five wars. All right, we are sitting with the legend, good guy, great guy, Elliot Wilson, Mall Media. So, Elliot, first of all, man, congrats on Rap Radar coming back. Can you believe it, man? I'm Jesus so happy Christ. to see you guys back. Uh, we did, we did an said, ad read for you guys. Yeah, how was that? Did you fuck it up? Well, I'm sure. Love? We I, had fun. We <laughs> had fun with it. We, we don't think that we were sitting there talking all verbatim. No, 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 no. No, we did one for y'all, too. It's so funny. They give you, like, that generic, yeah, like, nah, ad copy. Nah, and they say, no. have your fun and shit. Yeah, but fuck I'm like, that. We, we got to have fun with it, man. Like, what? Like, I, mine was like, get, check out Maul and Rory's irreverent takes on pop culture and what's going on. <laughs> irreverent. <in the> <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're irreverent, Rory. Well, you I want to say, I want to say. 
I don't think if, if you're looking at your numbers, I think they spiked because of the ad we did, not yeah. not the Khaled interview. <laughs> it wasn't Snoop, not any of that. It, it was wasn't us. Jamie. You saw those numbers go yeah, yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. after yeah. our ad- Jamie yeah. Trump or yeah. Ari Mal. I'm gonna go with our ad read. Yeah, yeah, our yeah, mid roll definitely, definitely was. How, our how was that uh, mafia? Before we Yo, actually mid roll mafia, you we like are mid roll mafia. Okay, cool. I like it. I ride with that. Before we start talking shit, how how was the uh, the news fest of Jamie Fox rap radar? Because now you're you politicized an interview. Yeah, I, I went you're viral. now now you're on the uh, the far left. No, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> you are contributing no, you know what? I did, to the I, far left narrative. I did I didn't get the crazy Trumpians in my mentions. I appreciate that though. I oh, didn't don't get worry, I'll help yet. you out. Those are my yeah. people. I got you. I'll <laughs> yeah, send no, them away. Don't you worry about it. I'll, I'll send, send them a way. bottle. Send them a bottle. Tell <laughs> yeah, them, yeah, yeah. Some um, bottle do say. Yeah. Nah, but that was like the like the real like. Because here's the thing: like when you think about it, like when, you know, you remember like back in the day, Maury, like. Uh, I don't know if Ma was down yet. When did you join the other shit? 2017, 2018? 16. Okay, you was part of it too. Okay, yeah. so remember 2015, 2017, you know, Tax Zone's running around and like we have the podcast app and it's like, yeah. we're looking at those charts and like, yep. who's number one? And we're showing yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah. So it's early, early that podcast, early our shit. And like, so that's 2015 and 2017. And in 2017, I go to Tidal. So now I'm behind a paywall. It's exclusive. But mm-hmm. now we're like back open platforms. Everybody can listen mm-hmm. on your favorite yeah. podcast app. So it's just crazy to be like, accessible in that way like in this modern era where there's like you know the business is growing thanks to yeah. you guys in a major way also like yeah. you know like how how much attention and like eyes and everything so i'm learning i'm relearning the whole business because you know a lot of is from the work that you guys did and and continue to do so yeah no go, having to go wide and not just do the exclusive thing is definitely a different approach and i understood why you guys did the title thing but i'm happy now yeah. there's so many of those interviews frank ocean killed the exclusive for everything <laughs> no he frank said, it's definitely his fault <laughs> It's definitely the fucking system. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad those th- these types of interviews can be seen by everybody. I yeah. drove past uh, Village Underground. Okay. Uh, radio. Oh, East Village. Oh, East yeah. Village. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. I drove past the other day and I was like, yo, this was ahead of his time. Right. Like just that location, that setup. Like I had, now, Drake, I had Drake in there. Exactly. Like that shit. No, is remember like, me. That shit that's is exactly like what, it's, it's a legendary square feet. What is it? Legendary. <laughs> legendary. What's uh, what's those little genies they used to put in the, the things you put a quarter in and they talk to you? Oh wow! At circuses well, and shit. That was seconds. Elliot. <laughs> it's, it's in a little glass box there. talking. Well, you know who started? You know who did it first? Uh, well, shout out Peter Ferraro. Like he's a dude who who started. It. He don't get a lot of credit. Shout out to him. He mm-hmm. actually used to sell. He used to be an ad guy at the source. That's how I knew him. Okay. okay. Source magazine ad dude. Like who was the pioneer of that? Like first getting the, the real major paper for that for that brand. Mm-hmm. So I ran into him, Peter Ferraro, and he's like, "I'm doing this thing, EVR." And really, it was Mark Ronson was the first that kind of Mark really Ronson, wow. started making noise with that that platform. And I loved it because you're literally on like the street. You're like yeah. on first and Walk first, right in. PC and I was like, by. You know, we all we all have those. We all grew up listening to High ninety seven, and we all think we could be on the radio. And yeah. Have those dreams and shit. And this gave me a chance to do it. And really, I could just really play two hours of what I wanted to play. It's obviously a precursor to a lot of the internet radio or sure, absolutely. going on, but yeah, I was absolutely. definitely ahead of the time. And I would get everybody to call in. Like, it was crazy. It just was real organic and dope. And like, I mean, when the Drake thing happened, he came in the thing and it's like, is, is a shot of like Oliver in the back and Oliver looks so like mad that like, why are we in this like fucking it's, closet it's a, yeah, it's a box. with Elliot? Like, yeah, I don't understand. Yeah. We just yeah, went like, number one. <laughs> We should you know, not be should subjected not be to this no. shit. I love it's like looking all stone faced. Yeah. I'm like, yo, okay. I'm trying to get I'm... Katie Kirk this morning. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember here's a, here's a gem for y'all. So I'm doing the interview. I'm doing these talk breaks with him, trying to mm. do like radio play songs, blah, blah. And then we go to like the third break and Drake goes, you didn't ask me about Chris Brown. This is the height of their oh, so like. He wanted to talk about it. Yeah, he wanted yeah. to talk about it. Yeah. And, so, and wow. by the way, side note, I think Eric Adams is the only person that can get whip and greenhouse back open. I'm voting oh, yeah, second man. term oh, if he does it. Eric well, you know, that's one happen. part also. His not, his not, like, you getting all these Rory Mall exclusives. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I want to hear the Chris Brown. Uh, Drake whip, had Greenhouse final story. approval of the interview, of course, because the big stars get final approval. For sure. So mm-hmm. when he sent the shit back and it was two hours, 20 minutes, I was like, holy fucking shit. Like, it's perfect. I, he didn't whatever cut he anything. wants to do. Yeah, like, yeah. No, he did cut small things. He didn't cut like the shit you worry about, like, is he talking about Kanye or Pusher at the time? Okay. Yeah. He cut out the thing where I said that he, he ruined your <laughs> club life. <laughs> in, in New York City, Homeboy. yeah, he, oh, they yeah. ruined Whip and Green. I really got in his ass about how he ruined. Yeah, I love that shit. That well, was like last night life. You no, know, Whip, you there's, guys there's, know. There's, well, there's two people. He killed it's, Greenhouse and Whip. Yeah, Greenhouse and Whip was the last yeah. of of the great club shit, and that was because of Chris Brown and Drake. But I will say the real issue was Maul and his family with bottle service ruined the club. <laughs> That's hundred percent buying out There'd the bars. There'd be no and bottles shit. to draw if there was not bottle service. <laughs> look where we at today because of, you see, look, <laughs> listen, do say, look, look, we're here. Um, it, it's kind of peculiar. Maul had a theory, and I had some pushback for it. But now that I see, you are here solo, right? 
It's weird. I thought you had a podcast it's, partner. It's wonder, where's where's uh, just, B dot? Where's, where's Brian? Where's B-Dot Brian Miller, Miller at? <laughs> Who's who's Brian B. Dot? Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. Man. He was he was in the y'all copy. Don't even, y'all don't hang out. Y'all not friends. Y'all don't kick it. You're wrong. You hit him. I mean, does his credential work? You hit him. B. Yeah. Dot is at the gate. Elliot is here talking you know, to I had, us. I had to bust up my thing because my look like I added another T to hit with the one T. Oh no, no they can't. No, it no, makes no, me feel better. Do you don't have yeah. a picture because yeah, you spell Elliot Rice. D L L I O. How do you know how to spell your name right? Double T. I gotta. Nah, look, me and B. Dot, man, like Maul, you funny. You started that shit. I appreciate you. I had to, man. Oh, when he was to. doing, I was like, Elliot's yeah, gonna like this. Shit. Though, it was too many congrats, his, congrats. I like y'all don't like each other. I had the to whole friend, here's how the whole friend. Do you know the friend thing gets weird, right? To call somebody your friend. True. The thing, look, <laughs> the mask is cracking up. Why are you cracking? It's just weird. The mask, now, how many right? friends do you have? Like it's hard, right? That's a title, right? Get somebody a friend title. I'm yeah, with that you. Is hard. There's there's right? work there's work friends, you know, there's work like associates, that, and then there's, there's friends that, and associates. What's that viral clip I saw? I don't even know who the person is. He's like. You know, everybody wants to have all these friends, like 20 friends and shit. Mm. He's like, give me free motherfuckers and I'll take over the world. Like, I only 20 friends. Yeah. Everybody want to have so many friends. Now, but the difference between me and B-Dot is that it's, it's hard to, like, lean into saying we're friends because of the age difference and because when he goes, when he th- joins Double XL, it's like 2005. I'm like, I'm a grown-ass man and he's a young dude. Mm. So it's like that difference of that. But yeah, we've grown to be friends, obviously. Yeah. And, like, yeah. there's a lot of love and respect there. But mm-hmm. what I've always loved about B-Dot is that he's not a fucking yes man to me. Right. Like, he mm. respects me. But he right. thinks he's the shit too. So, you know, somehow we make that list. work. He has his confidence. Now he's got a list that y'all give a fuck about. I don't know why you I, I don't why know. you gas this guy yeah. and get these lists. <laughs> People go crazy every time he drops this shit. That is shit. Serious, yo. We got a joint with uh the next episode of Lloyd Banks and with interviewing Lloyd Banks and like and like towards the end, Banks just like gets on it about the list. Like he just turns the whole shit to us. Like, yeah. I was like, oh, these motherfuckers really care about this guy's yo, list. It's, like, it's, I don't it's understand. insane. Did you it's insane. It's insane, right? Like yeah. Rolling Stone, B dot. B dot strongest sign Rolling Stone. What you care well, about his shit? Like, because B Dot is actually in the culture, and yeah. that's where it gets different. Because with somebody else, Rolling Stone, and even I'll even say complex lists, it's yeah. like, yeah. who's making this list? Do I know them? Can I trust their taste? Mm-hmm. I could disagree with B Dot, yeah. but I respect his music taste and know that he takes the shit seriously. But I lean so into that's why that. I don't mind yeah. when it just goes like, no, let's not kill this list. Let's no, always we're, make we're it. We're in the era of personal branding as the authority, and sure. I leaned into that early with XXL, and I didn't know I was doing that. Mm. Like I created this YM persona, which allowed me to be fucking bold and mm-hmm. you know, yellow N word doesn't care, and like he's yeah. willing to put it all on the line, and like you know, I'm going against real dudes. I'm going against all. Re- it's funny because I wasn't always just this. It wasn't just me dissing um, those guys. I dissed everybody in the industry. Like, I called out everybody. Like, I was moving fearless and reckless and crazy because that's what I thought I had to do. And I was mm. young and I was yeah. feeling myself, making money for the first time. So, you know, but but people believed in YN as personal brand behind mm-hmm. a bigger brand. Yeah. And now the whole thing is about personal brands. They care about what Rory Maul, Elliot think. Like, personal branding is really more important right now than, like, these, like, who is these brands? Like, who is mm-hmm. no shots at anybody? No, who is complex at this point? Right. Who is this one at this point? Mm-hmm. You know, they care about Rory Ma, Elliot Wilson, B Dot. Like it's it's right. personal but branding. So you know? much of that I think did come from podcasting and the visual aspect of podcasting. Because even when I would pick up, like you had to be an actual like super nerd to like look who wrote this in Double XL, yeah. who wrote this in the source. Most people were picking up the source because it was an article about an artist they like and mm-hmm. they read it and agreed or disagree. Mm-hmm. Also, me now it's like your face is right on this camera, and this is my I'm opinion a- with my name above it, with my name in the caption. Like yeah. it, it becomes Jit is Different. ready. Hello. Sorry. Jit is ready. Sorry, Elliot. Did Sorry, you Johnny uh, Carson? No, but you, I want to can I get my shit off about how I made yeah. media cool? Media was never cool before me. Get your I was shit the off. First, get your shit off. I was the get first one. Off. And then drop the mic and walk out. Cool. Get your shit off, Elliot. No, but everybody know. Like Mall's media now. It's like media wasn't cool. <laughs> did we consider, media, do we consider Maul, radio media? Media, media it, was like, no, but not not journal, not journalism. It's corny ass mm. herb. Like you can't rap. Who are you to tell me my album's whack? Right. I see your byline. I don't know what you look like. Trying to find you in a club and put hands on you. Right. That was media. Yeah. Like that's where I come from. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like now it's cool to be media. Charles Barkley's more known for media than even being absolutely. Sure. Like I saw the clips running. Like he was a phenomenal basketball player. Yeah. A lot of people Charles forget Barkley that. Charles Barkley was nice. Yeah. Like yeah. he was fucking great. He's like one of my favorite players. Like, well, but like he's a great media personality also. Yeah. But it's like it's crazy how media is now cool. You have to have a media company, mm-hmm. and I love it. I feel like I was ahead of that curve of like I, I made you buy into the like. The coolness that we XXL was cooler than the source. Yeah, for sure. Like, that's why we had to win. It's like they're, they're not of us. They're not the culture. Like they're not mm-hmm. gonna win. Right. Like I don't care if they're the Bible. It's over. Yeah. Well, I'm putting them out. <laughs> you did see the shit too, because I feel like I feel like it all took the me long, but I did yeah, it. You shit. got them out. All the gangster rappers wanted to beat you up. Now, now they're media. Yeah. And like no, Nori is a no, sweetheart, but to... Noriega was not a sweetheart. No. <laughs> okay. Here's a good. Here's a good uh, Jim Jones story. Jim Jones. Uh, there's a tape of Jim Jones. I think one of those like remember everybody had the DVD 
mm-hmm. shit, like right. we did you on DVD. And he's basically, I think he's yelling at Vanessa on the phone. He's talking about basically like he's mad we don't give him a cover. Yeah. Blah, blah. You know, dreading to slap my Koofy off, all that type of shit. You was so on the Koofy list? I was on the Koofy okay. list. No. Yes, yes, definitely you was on the Koofy list? Definitely on the Koofy list. Damn, 100%. I didn't know that. Jomo? Jomo had me on the Koofy list. <laughs> yeah, Jomo. <laughs> Yo, uh, I but, didn't um, know Elliot was on a cool So I remember, like, I get fired, and then um, I'm at a fashion show, some kind of fashion thing. That's when he was running around with Dame. And remember when remember Cass was wearing uh, the, the Louis shit over there? there oh, the scarves? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Scarves over there, yeah. So a rap money time. Yeah. And Jim goes, some of the sees me, he goes, he starts snoring, he goes, I should fuck you up right now, but, but. And then he goes, nah, 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 nah. Maybe he had that song, nah, 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 yeah, nah. Yeah, two extra. <laughs> Look, well, he's he was branding credit. himself at yeah, the same yeah. time. It's all branding. Yo, to his credit, Dame comes in. You know, Dame's the peacemaker. Like, yo, 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 we're not gonna yeah, do this yeah. here. Blah blah blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yo, niggas, he come to my office the next morning. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, nigga, Dame called a meeting, and me and Jim, like school kids, came to the office. Yeah. The next day, like ten a.m. I like and basically just hammered the shit out and got and got. Oh, I like that Dame. Dame. More and, me, that, yeah. and me and Jim have been solid ever since. Bro. Did you talk to Banks about? You in fifties history? Nah, Banks didn't go there with me on any of that shit. Honestly, okay. yeah, it's like. Dude, was, do you think Banks was super aware of? I think so, but I think fifties you know, uh, disdain for you at one moment. <laughs> <laughs> disdain. <laughs> Try to think of a nice way. I, I think the disdain grew at the end. I don't think the disdain was uh fully there during the height of their run. Mm-hmm. The disdain came kind of after the end, and you know, like what we don't realize is that besides the things that you know, I think the one way to look at it is that you know, fifties the type of dude he's a hustler. It's like you can't make no money with me. Fuck you. He's yeah. on some songs, right? So sure. what I'm off out of Double XL is I create Rap Radar. Then you see he starts really pushing This Is 50. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So again, it's almost like we're being competitive with each other. It's yeah. like and the fact that Paul Rosenberg was my partner yeah. and he was the guy who Eminem, whatever. I think he just felt the way about that too. Like y'all niggas trying to you know level up on me. You know, it is what it is. So. I get it. Well, I'm glad nothing happened with that yeah. entire thing. Also, <laughs> let's break it down really by thing. You know this, Rory. You you more on that side of town with Queens, mm-hmm. South Side, Jamaica. We don't. I was they, North Side. They but. usually don't get. We all usually don't get along with my side, which is like no Long Island City. Well, City, South Side, North Queens Side don't even Bridge, get along. Yeah, Ravenswood, yeah. Woodside. We don't get along. We different cats. Like mm. you, you think we're like Manhattan boys? Yeah, I think yeah. that's like every yeah. every every city, yeah. every borough is kind of like that. Yeah, you have your side of the city where you just like, oh, we don't really rock with. Like, like Queens, that. we all have that Queens pride, but it's very different of being like where it's I'm divided from. though. Woodside and South yeah. Side are very different. I kind of does Queens run podcasting? Hey man, we run everything. That's Ru- Russell Simmons. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking to you and your friends. <laughs> he was he was saying more. You should ask Russell Simmons. <laughs> Have you talked to Russ since all the uh, oh, shit came Ellie out before? The, no, I, I want to know. I, Russell I, I, was I never was... my man, though. Like, you know, cats, like, Russell started that wave. You know, it's funny. Russell's, uh, remember, what was that shit he had? Hook.com? Remember mm-hmm. that? It was in the 90s. So oh, Russell okay. was at the forefront of sort of like the beginning of kind of killing print journalism because everybody got internet jobs back when we didn't know what to do with the internet. Yeah, right, so right. he used to pay journalists. Like, he hired, like, you know, someone Hines, who I work with. Shout out to Deshaun Thomas, who's at Vibe. And mm-hmm. he basically was like, he was, let's say he was making 75 a year as a journalist. Mm-hmm. Russell had the bag 150. You do this internet shit. Yeah. But it was ahead of his time. We didn't know about band, the power of the Dude, thing. Dude, if like, you look, all you Def know, Digital. Was, the digital shit yeah, was crazy. Did, did, so crazy. Russell, I think, when I think of Russell, I think of that part too. Yeah. Know? All Def Digital did a lot of shit that is now prominent on the internet. Of course, a lot of shit happened with Russ and yeah. other, there was other bigger websites. But all Def Digital really did do a lot of yeah. this shit first. And it started with a thing he had called Hook.com. So mm. that became, then that became that. all Def Digital. Yeah. That's crazy. But Heather Kerber, that shit. Who do you want to see and who don't you want to see? No, nah, I'm actually, you know, you know I'm, I'm really like a service fan where I'm really excited about the headliners. Like, I really like, I mean, I obviously love Tyler. He's a yeah. great guy. Mm-hmm. I want to see him live. And Bad Bunny, the phenomenon. I miss the whole Yankee Stadium. Because, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, nobody, can I also that. say for the record, Roy Moss show that I live in California. No one wants to accept it. I left New York. Yeah. yeah. Everybody wants to I don't to think about it. Did a lot of people know that? They don't want to accept it, Mom. Like, mm, I, I've I known you in been California. out there for a while. Beat, mm-hmm. um, I drove you out. <laughs> Did he help you pack? <laughs> no. He ran, he ran you out like <laughs> he ran me out of <laughs> He ran me out of Queens. He ran me out of town. Elliot um, ran to LA? Nah, so Bad Bunny. I want to see Bad Bunny. I heard about the Yankee Stadium stuff and like the phenomenon that is Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny's running this whole music shit. So mm. Who's the I'm one artist that you reached out to, to to sit down with that never responded? The funny thing is that a lot of, I was talking, I ran into Jinx. It's funny, I told Rory, I flew in wearing a Royal Mall hoodie. You guys give me a Royal Mall hoodie. I like that hoodie. It's a good so hoodie. Thank you. Pandemonium in so, TSA. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
sir, you don't need to take that off. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. Straight through. The mask give it to me, somebody give me a Rory Mall hoodie. So I, yeah. I like my Rory Mall. And my, here's the thing, my wife approves the Rory Mall hoodie. Because a lot of like, thank you. A lot of promo shit she don't fuck with. She calls it Rob McDaniel shit. Yeah. So it goes straight in the trash. Yeah. But that Rory up. Mall hoodie's kind of clean. So I rock that. It's quality. I ran to Jinx. Mm-hmm. You know, we all know the brother Jinx. Yeah. Um, but I was saying, what was that? What's the point I'm trying to make? I forget the point I was trying to make. An artist that you uh, reached out to that turned you down. Oh, I was telling him I was I was lamenting to him about how, you know, now we're turning people down that want to get live, but they, people were fronting, like you know what I'm saying? Like in July when I'm trying to do bookings, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, people were kind of not getting back to me. It's hard, to, you know, get get back in the game. You know how this game yeah, is like yeah. nobody gonna lift you up when you down. You gotta That's get hot fact. again. So you know, now that Jamie went viral, everybody pitching oh, so and so yeah. may not be as relevant anymore. And like mm-hmm. you know, he's in town, he's in town, he's in town. So. Just that industry shit, you know. With, I, hate changes, you know? I hate with it. The, uh, I hate that, right? I hate that shit. With yeah. the battle of who can talk to who first, or who can talk to the, <laughs> the most people that we all are. Who yeah, talks with, the best? The, yeah, the let's best talk to each other. Wars. With that being so accessible in so many fucking podcasts and so many cameras, what's wrong with hip hop journalism right now, as far as interviewing goes? Well, I, I could do a whole tutorial on how to interview, like stop interrupting motherfuckers. Mm. Uh, everything doesn't have to be chronological in your conversation. Yeah. I'm, le- um, I'm learning that. Yeah. yeah. You guys, are st- this is like I watch you guys, man. You, you, you starting to, what was the thing before Quentin Miller? That's journalism. You snuck some uh, other journalism shit on me. Drama, that's drama journalism. Was you, did the, here's the, you, did the, you did the journalism one on one where it's like you talk to uh, 50 Cent, then you got to talk to Murder Inc. Like you oh, did yeah. the whole side. <laughs> no, but that was, that was, I already DM Drake. Tell both sides. <laughs> no, but the Quentin you know, thing was, um, Quentin was in the making for a while. I was, I was back and forth with him for about over a year and a half. Yeah. And he just wasn't, you know, he wasn't comfortable. He wasn't ready. He didn't really want to talk. Drama shit, all of a sudden he got comfortable. Oh, no, he, he, hit me, he, he hit me as soon as it came out. He yeah. said, I'm ready. But that's <laughs> like, the okay. journalism. Like, people forget, like, everybody talks about when I did the MJ50 uh, cover. Yeah. You know, two months later, I did Murder Inc. Mm. Yeah. And those are real conversations. Like, you know, the, the Interscope was mad and we went through all that. But it's like, as the journalism thing is that, you have to tell both sides. Like, yeah, absolutely. You, you give platform. everybody a, yeah. It's unfair to give drama this platform where he's right. going to show up to this level. And, not and talk if to Quinn, Quinn. Miller want to speak and right. you got a relationship already, right. it's almost unfair, yeah. you know, to not give him that platform. So, mm-hmm. you know, I watch you. I think that's but where that's where certain journalism thinks. I think it's like it's embedded in some of the great, the best moments mm. of everything we do. But there just isn't this one standard anymore. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, I have to consider what you guys did with that journalism moments. But I feel like every interview, you know, we try to deliver that. So so, so many journalists, and that's why I, I, outside of your work, do call you the GOAT. The fact that you've been able to keep this many industry relationships and never <laughs> just take a side is incredible. Because at this point, I feel like it's hard to do the drama Quentin shit. Of course, that's a lower level. Yeah, but, yeah. but artists are so sensitive now, and I feel like social media has brought media and artists closer where the people feel like they're friends like they go to dinner and shit now yeah so it's tough to be the objective like all right well i'm gonna let the person you don't fuck with tell they side mm-hmm. and now you become yeah. the bad friend no i think you just have to think about and that's how people they, they say things like that. they say well you're cool with jay-z you're not cool with 50 cent like everything's mm-hmm. black and white mm-hmm. it's not black and white and the biggest thing is when you're cool with somebody you guys know it's like you carry even more weight to that because when you do something they don't like they yeah. feel like their friend betrayed them, yeah. but their man's turned on them. Like, yeah. mm. the fuck, my nigga? Like, blah, blah, blah. Right. Like, that's the energy towards you. So how you manage that, how you deal with the ups and downs of the relationship is, is what's important. And the biggest thing, like we said earlier, is like, you just got to get hot. You got to stay hot. Like, I, I always got to be near the flame. I got to stay hot. Like, I have my down times, but for the most part, you know, I don't really ever fall off. And yeah. shit. I sound like I get low at times, but yeah. I'm there. Like, I want to be in a winner's circle. And like, I feel like it's going to come around for me. Mm. And ride those waves. And like, and then the thing about this industry, like I said, even someone like Jim Jones and Styles P or these kind of guys that may want to put hands on me, you know, 20 years ago. Yeah. Now you're like warriors, like, like you're still standing and I'm still standing. Yeah. So there's respect there yeah. amongst men, like to survive in this business for people to still care about you. Like, this is my 30th summer. I've been in this 30 years. Like, Damn. I've been yeah. in terms of covering the culture, like mm-hmm. reviewing Diamond D albums and Chronic and then interviewing mm. fucking Cool G Rap on election day in 1992 when Clinton beat Bush crazy. and shit. So, <laughs> That's like, crazy. I'm in this. So, like, you know, that's what it is. So, you know, I think the longevity is important. But you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I don't think longevity is respected, but it doesn't really get the uh, the big numbers acclaimed. But my, I'm here yeah. to try to do both. I, mean, like, I, I want to be double platinum and a legend and OG. Uh, Hip hop in general, <laughs> I feel like we don't respect longevity the way we should. Mm-hmm. Speaking of that, is it too soon for the Elliot Wilson doc? I don't know. Or has I, that even been a thought? Here's in your my Rory Mall confession. Like, I thought, okay, pandemic, yeah, slow down. I'm mm. about to, I'm about to, these cast that biography about my life and tell yeah. them how it really goes down and who I am. I struggle with that, honestly. Like, I struggle with figuring out how to really tell my story 
in a way that feels organic. It feels real. I haven't really landed on the like POV of it. Like, yeah. but I'm getting there. You know, no, I, I want to do it. And like, and, and it's going to be real. It's going to be great when it happens, but I'm just not there yet. Do you enjoy living in New York or LA more? I, do, I felt like it was time for me to be in LA. Um, I'm still in New York. I feel like I move like a New Yorker. I'm no, I'm the cat in California. If you see me, I'm walking on the street. I'm the, I'm that. That's some New York. I'm that shit. crazy person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Walking down like Ocean Avenue in Santa Monica, mm-hmm. like two miles. Yeah. You know, that's me. Say what's up. Right. You know <laughs> that, what I'm saying? That's Say me. <laughs> talk. You can speak. <laughs> you know, dap me up. Don't talk about me bad in your mm-hmm. car. Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, pop out that's and say, why? Light. We're good. You know what I'm saying? No, but yeah, I feel like I carry a New York spirit. I don't feel like a California person, but, you know, quality of life, my wife, it just it just felt right. But I'm, yeah. I'm excited now that, you know, part of what we do in like the idea of Rapper podcast, going back to that, is that. <laughs> You know, we saw like Jay Z in Malibu or Drake's house in Toronto or Will Swift in Budapest. Like, I like the idea, like you guys are doing. Like, you don't know where Rory Ma going to pop up or what uh, kind of content right. they're going to give you, what city they're going to do. Yeah, you guys are unpredictable too, and I like that. I feel like mm-hmm. there's power in that. Like, so I like the idea now that the world's opening Change back the up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that you can yeah. travel, right? So, like, I like Cali as my home base, but I love now that I can move around and right. I want to go to New York several times a year. I want to hit Philly. I want to hit all these markets, Atlanta, Toronto. So, you know, I want to be mobile like that in a real way. Yeah, I think it makes for a better interview too. Because yeah. so many artists are used to the press run. Yeah, nah. Just walk into the radio studio. Or let's go to the next room. Come to my hub, yeah. 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 It's different. I mean, I'm glad you guys were at Jay's house and were in a trailer in Philly. But it yeah, wasn't Jay's. I see, I see Everybody... what you're trying to say. <laughs> I thought there'd be no ventilation in hell. It's kind of worried. No, we have the AC. We got the AC. Well, Well, for the record, yeah, I'm going to that. Jay, one final note. It was Little Beach House, Malibu. So, okay. Oh, okay. So, so we we, we bit your style and went to uh, Nova Malibu. Yeah, Logic. I saw that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Jay Logic. (laughs) Got the same. Jay Z Logic. Equal. Yeah, same level. Is it Jit time, fellas? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Careful before you steal the Jit. did. Yeah. All right, we back with one of my one of my favorite. Uh, oh, you want to sit down? Okay, so then cool. We got the AC on. You ain't want to be out there. We with uh, Babyface Ray Detroit's finest. Yes. Yeah, yeah. How you feeling, man? Made in America. Feel, feeling good, man. Uh, my first Made in America. Ready to hit the stage? Did you Did you go I on yet? Went already. Oh. They've had us trapped in here. We can't see shit. Yeah, that, that's the fuck that we in here. We don't know who on stage. Yeah, how how me, was it? They had me perform as soon as the doors open, but it's all good. It was still crowded. They, they felt mean, the energy though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. How's, Yo, how's, I was just okay. listening to the uh, to the Goofy's record with my man Digger D. Yeah. In the UK. Yeah. I like Digger. That? I'm fucking with Digger. Okay. I'm, I'm I'm happy that you reached out to. Who, how did that happen? Did he reach out to you or you reached out to him? Uh, I reached out to him. Oh, so you tuned in with Digger? Yeah, like uh, the whole UK rap, they, how they be coming. Like, yeah. Shit, okay. Shit. Okay. Do you think uh, the Detroit, current Detroit sound kind of derives from UK drill at all? Or? Look, yeah, Detroit a whole here. different world. I'm probably the only cat from, from the D that's understanding what's going on in the UK for real. Who's mm-hmm. some of your uh, the, the artists from Detroit that you still keep in touch with, that inspired you, that give you words of encouragement, that you probably collabed with on some things? Pretty much every, all everybody, you know what I'm saying? Um, I swear, Vezo. Shout out to Vezo. You know I'm, saying? I'm like little bro to him, uh, mm-hmm. PZ. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm like little bro to him, uh, GT. We all grew up together. Okay. V's, uh, Los and Nutty. Um, it's a good energy coming out of Detroit right now. Yeah, yeah, baby, money. You can name it. Anybody that, that that's got, got something going right now, they know about face for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, uh, you was on. Are you still currently on tour? I know you had stopped no, by I'm New not, York. I'm off. I'm off. Yeah, yeah. the New York show. Yeah. That was crazy. The and New York, that, you, it was crazy? Absolute, absolutely. Was you there? I, absolutely. The New York show was crazy. Mm-hmm. I felt like that was my worst show. Oh, and really? Maybe, I wasn't maybe, expecting New York to even show love. I didn't even think that was... everybody t- keeps saying, but it was like, New York a tough crowd. I mean, maybe because no, we, <laughs> we haven't seen New York sure. react that way. Usually, yeah. they're more even stagnant, yeah. just sitting here like yeah. this, looking up. Like, yeah. New York crowds are usually... I was, I was surprised to see that many people come out and didn't know... Babyface Ray and know the lyrics. I was like, this that was surprising yeah, to me. That's hard. That's hard, that was man. surprising for me. I can't lie. Cause I was like, I right. I ain't gonna lie. I was feeling like New York wasn't fucking with me. I was telling Bearline, like, man, nah. I don't know. New York. So that's, that's one of the markets as as rappers that y'all come to you like, man, we gotta see what New York doing tonight if they fucking with us. Mm. It's fucked up that that's like a thing for artists in their mind. Like going into New York, like, yeah. I don't know what they're gonna do tonight. And on yeah. top of that, usually it just be people from Jersey, Long Island. Like it don't even be New York right. a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. It's a whole different crowd. Yeah, I know but. y'all to start a New York to start a hip hop, so it's like it's important for artists to go there and yeah, receive yeah, love. Yeah, for sure. Uh, going into next year, because uh, I know we just got the Face Deluxe in yeah, May. Yeah. Um, so what's next for you? I got some new music coming out, you know what I'm saying, very soon. I just need everybody to tune in. I'm trying to take it up a different level right now, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sure. So, yeah, I can expect something soon. Were, uh, were you able to connect with uh, Kyle Anderson in New York? Who that? 
played well, he played for the Grizzlies. Now he plays for what? Minnesota. Oh yeah, he came mm-hmm. to my show. Yeah, I got him tickets, and he, oh, he, yeah, he came was to my super, show. Super big yeah, fan of sure. yours. And I wasn't sure if you guys. Ever I'm got a big to fan of him. That's the slow motion guy with it. Yeah, yeah. slow mo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of him. I like sports. If I, I always tell myself, I win doing fashion music. I've been trying to hoop, so mm. it'd be crazy when a basketball players come to my show. I'd be like, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I sure. definitely want to sit down with you. Like, I'll, maybe we come to Detroit. Yeah. And I want to do like a full piece with you because I think that you're one of those artists that's very special, especially coming out of Detroit. You got a lot of upside to you, and I, I, know, I know what you mean to this generation that's coming up now. So we definitely got to sit down with you away from Philly, away from, you know, yeah. just being at the festival and really sit down with Babyface Ray and kick it in Detroit. So we got to make that. that happen soon. I'm with that. Appreciate sure. you for stopping by, Thank brother. you, man. Shout My God, Babyface Ray. Me, man. I'm well rested, unlike the rest of you fucking no, no, heathens. I'm well, uh, I'm I was well asleep rested. before midnight. I, I'm well rested. My phone, I woke up to about eight text messages. People wanted me to go out last night. What's not happening? Yeah. I was. I think we might have walked. I don't have a a a, a step tracker, but mm. we definitely got our ten thousand steps in yesterday. Well, you're not really a walker. Ah, uh, I mean, I'm a New Yorker, so I am a walker. But but you're an Uber SUV type of person. I don't get I don't get ten thousand a day in. No. If I see something is fifteen blocks away, I'll even go twenty. I'm walking. It depends on I'm what a, city I'm a walker. I'm in. It depends on what city I'm in. And even when I got a car, I used to park in the garage, and then I would do my entire day either on the train or walking. Oh, no, that's that's normal New Yorker shit. Yeah. No, 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 nobody's trying to drive and find parking on every block in well, New York. Because we walked, I had, I had like the cool fit on yesterday with sneakers I liked. Well, I am standing with Ye. That's why I'm wearing these. Yes. I stand oh, with cool. Ye, yeah, yeah. but I, I, I came more prepared today to be active. Got to be active. Got to have the right shit on. Um, We just saw Victoria Monet. We did. She looked great. She sounded great. Uh. I feel like they had her on too early. She got a lot of records, man. Way too early. Yeah, that's they, I think I'm they thinking, had Victoria yeah. on a little too early, but she was on the main stage. Yep. So that's a great look. The production was great. But like with her, I would put her on way later on like the second biggest stage, the Liberty Joint. Yeah. Because she still has records that are like kind of intimate. Mm-hmm. She would have been perfect like second to last or last on the second Liberty stage. People know what we're talking about when we say Liberty. But. Uh, Somebody I was looking forward to seeing yesterday, Kodak. Uh, he was he had arrived late. I saw his Instagram. He posted. Fib. Hold he on. had arrived late, and uh, he was saying that they didn't want to let him in because he was a little late, and uh, he was upset about it because he really wanted to perform. Can we really? Can I? Yes. Can I translate what Kodak said on his IG? Yes. We so are was, we are going to Florida, by the way. So be careful. Go yeah. Ahead. I, I'm a Kodak fan. Okay. No. 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 That's what um, they usually say. Yeah. No. Big step. <laughs> whenever Mr. whenever Morale. Florida's on the schedule. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. No. no sure. I'm a Kodak yeah. fan. Yeah. Tallahassee all the way down yeah. to Miami. Key I West. It. I love I, Key West. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Oh, go of uh, Gators. Is yeah. that? Yeah. Florida State he and did, the he Canes. He, he <laughs> he I love them all. He didn't go to college, but go ahead. What? Um. What? He didn't. What? But I understand Floridian talk. Basically, what Kodak said, for those that don't know, Kodak did not perform at Main America yesterday. Um, According to reports, he was late. So he got on his IG and he said, hey, I was late, but y'all still didn't let me on. That's bad business. Fuck y'all. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and then he, and then he threw, and then he threw his J, he threw J name in it. Like Jay stopped him from getting in. Then he said, then he said he was going to cancel his whole tour because Live Nation did his tour and all their business is just bad, apparently, because if you show up over 40 minutes late, they're supposed to change an entire festival for you. <laughs> yet, yeah. Yet that, they do bad business. That's the that's the thing about it. Like, uh, I, I, you know, artists got to remember with these parks and these permits, they have to be out a at certain a certain time. time. You got to like clear the park. It's like grand per minute you go over. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're 40 minutes, and I think he was a little later than that. They, yeah. He was more than that. Yeah, I'm being so, nice by saying 40 minutes later. Yeah, so I mean, th- it would have been dope to see Kodak and then Uzi, but uh, Uzi's set was dope. Yeah, Uzi's set was dope. And, I, and I'm not mad at, listen, artists end up, travel schedules are crazy. Mm-hmm. People yeah, end up being late. It was him going on there and saying, y'all do bad business. If he would have got on there and be like, yo, I was late, like, sorry to the fans, yeah. it was out of my control, I would believe him. Accountability. Yeah, that's but, all. But bl- saying bad business and y'all don't know what y'all doing. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. And it was uh, it was fucked up because a lot of the fans were disappointed because I was standing yeah. over there by the stage when he was supposed to go oh, on, I, I and think, then they announced that he wasn't going to be performing. I think he was, was probably tight. one of the biggest pulls for this weekend. Absolutely, absolutely. without a absolutely. doubt. Without a doubt. I mean, of course, there's Tyler and Bad Bunny, but what Kodak would be Uzi the third. Yeah, Tyler, Uzi, Bad Uzi. Bunny, and Uzi, and then Kodak. I would say those would be opinion. the four. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that for fans, especially the young kids, because the young crowd. I was definitely looking forward to seeing Kodak. Huge fan of his. I wanted to see. I, I have. I never seen him live, so I was looking forward to that. Um, but Uzi, then, Uzi was good though. I like the uh, oh, Uzi. No, the Uzi set was really on, dope on stage and shit. The Mohawk. And all he that. sounded good. 
Um, that was my first time. No, my second time seeing Uzi, but my first time seeing him in over probably five years. Wow. I think the last time I saw him was on that exact same stage years ago. Yeah. So, so his set was dope. Uh, we saw uh, Tyler's set last night. Yes, fire. I his missed. his his set was fire. Amazing. I missed the one at the Garden, which which pissed me off. So Damn. I was I was happy to watch it. Yeah. And I watched it from a, a far great away distance, distance. A great enough. distance. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny though to see, and, and Tyler kind of touched on it on stage as far as his music has changed so drastically. Yeah. But Odd Future had such a core crazy fan base mm-hmm. of course. that it's so funny the people that may be going there to hear like some beautiful R&B from Igor and then it's like fuck kill Odd shit future, yeah, suicide goblin. from his awful <laughs> at the beginning of his catalog so he's like well I guess I'll start with some some old shit and see if you guys know any of this yeah. and then it went into Yonkers and it was like this didn't sound like the last song <laughs> it's amazing you know what's funny with like Tyler the way he talks to like his, his fans like he was like let me hear y'all on this side he's like oh y'all suck dick <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was like, how are you telling your fans because they're not loud enough that they suck dick? I, that's probably the best I've ever seen someone make a festival stage feel intimate. Yeah. Because the way we've, we know enter, like rappers and R&B singers that are funny and like mm-hmm. when they have intimate shows, they really be doing that type of shit and right. really interacting and, and, you know, talking to the crowd. Mm-hmm. Tyler really made that feel like that with fucking, I don't know, however, 50,000 people. Yeah. No, it looked it looked great. The, the, I, I I was looking at his setup, and you know, just the, the backdrop and like Tyler is he's a bona fide superstar without a doubt. So we were we were arguing on the riser because that's just what old people that watch music festivals do right. from a distance. Right. Yeah, drinks flowing, arguments happening, debates. Yeah, and we were already debating to begin with. So once Tyler came on, it's like, well, let's debate more. Yeah, I was the youngest in the debate. And we all know that the certified three, Cole, Kendrick, Drake, that we always argue. Mm-hmm. Future has been that fourth one. Tyler with sales, impact, show. Fashion. Numbers. Like, what? how is Tyler not festival? A, a candidate yeah, festival. for that fourth? Yeah. I'm not saying he is number four. Why is he not in the conversation for four? For some weird reason, I, I think that a lot of people still don't categorize Tyler as a rapper or like hip hop for for whatever reason. He what? ra- he weird. rapped he a rapped most of, of his set. Last night yeah. was mostly rap. A lot of people have a hard time looking at Tyler as a rapper. Like Cole rap. That's insane. Kendrick rap. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like I mean, I look at him as a rapper. But, but this is off what his last Tyler albums? is one thousand yeah. percent of right. He may have had rap album of the year last year. Yeah. Yeah. No, listen, I do, but you know, it's just when you talk about those names, I don't think that people Put but Tyler it's funny, in that. Even, even the old heads, and I think a lot of it has to do with perception sometimes and not even numbers. Because, mm-hmm. of course, Future does good numbers. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, Tyler absolutely. does better numbers than Future mm-hmm. and sells out way crazier venues than Future. Absolutely. But the old heads, who would probably prefer Tyler's music and say Future's not a rapper, mm-hmm. were like, nah, Future got that four spot. Mm-hmm. He's Tyler's not, he's not hip hop. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? No, Tyler is. Is um, Pharrell hip hop? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So he's rapping over beats that sound just like Pharrell beats. Mm-hmm. No, I'm with you. I, I <laughs> agree. I'm just Pharrell saying beats. that I've, I've heard people have that argument and it's just that they don't really respect Tyler as a rapper. I, they enough. need to listen to more Tyler. And no, they Tyler's probably, incredible. They probably have the odd future shit in their brain still. Because yeah. I was even scared at 22. I was like, these fucking 15 year olds <laughs> are nuts. Yeah. It was um somebody else we saw last night who set was pretty dope. Oh, Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine yeah. Sullivan, oh my gosh, she she gave a master class on vocal performance. Mm-hmm. Um, to sound that good outside with that many people, it just on that doesn't. Stage. Jasmine Sullivan's voice is just no acoustics for real. <laughs> yeah, like it's just. I mean, I, I I would love to see other artists like R and B artists watching Jasmine perform. Yeah, like because you have to just look at that in all like the runs and the the, the tone and the breath control and. Just all of the things that it takes to be a great vocalist. Like, she never seemed... I've, anytime I've heard Jasmine Sullivan, she never had an off night. Yeah. And and it was so good to see Hotels perform. Cause I, I've seen a lot of her earlier stuff. But mm-hmm. Hotels was so important to me because the same way they do it to, like, the conscious rappers. Like, when someone brings up Future, they'll be like, oh, but he's talking about real shit. I felt like they did that to Jasmine with R&B. They'd be like, well, there's... We need more Jasmine Sullivan's. And then mm-hmm. Jasmine Sullivan put out hotels and the content just debunked all you fucking woke people. Of right. Like, where's the love? Like, nah, she was harmonizing this pussy's good 
<laughs> for 45 yeah, for seconds yeah. on that stage with all of her background singers. Yeah. And it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, she, I love that Jasmine is like, I'm, I'm a person. I got a whole hotel tape right now. Incredible album. That probably R&B album of the year that year came out. Ah, shit. You might be able to put that in five album years. Year? Yeah. Five years. <laughs> no, she um she looked great. She sounded great. Um, So, yeah, it was good to see her. And we, who did we just see? Uh, Victoria. Victoria Monet. Yeah. We just saw Victoria Monet today. Um, And I'm looking forward to Snows today. Yep. Snow Allegra. Armani White. Armani White. Uh, while we were watching Victoria. Edin's um, been going crazy for Bad Bunny. Edin did 100 push-ups and sit-ups this morning. I, t- I don't know why. He's been okay. camping outside the, the Bad Bunny yeah, production I, it's, trailer. It's just like it's just trying to nastiness. Trying to blend in as I'm a rushing gaffer. to that media. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's just nastiness <laughs> going on, man. I don't know what Edin's doing. Uh, you said what? you're rushing to the, to the, to the, to the yeah. photo pit? Yes. Oh <laughs> Absolutely. If Bad Bunny did what Chris Brown did with meet and greet photos, what would be your... I would not setup. pay a thousand dollars to meet Bad Bunny. I'm sorry. Okay, what if I paid it? What would you do in the, the photo shoot? We're doing a handshake. The handshake, yeah. Right. yeah. The hand was kind of low. And what then, are you, you know, on my chest. Yeah, and then on my chest. You know, the hand is kind of low. What you was is shaking? Right there? Yeah. <laughs> he was down here. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> What's that called? That the elephant walk or something? <laughs> He'd elephant walk through the whole photo. Hey, nice to meet you, <laughs> yo, fam. <laughs> what, sure. what are you shaking right there, man? Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Bad Bunny is uh is is headlining tonight. You can't tell oh. me I'm not excited for that. No, I, I, I like I like Bad Bunny. I, I, after seeing like the clips from his Yankee Stadium weekend, fire. Uh, I do want to see. Yeah, I do like, want to yeah. see Bad Bunny. I just respect art, man, and artistry. And when artists take it there, and you know, visually they try to make it a whole experience. Like, I will know. say, somebody at Live Nation or or Made or Rock or whatever is kind of there's a horny Booker amongst us. A horny Booker to go Burner Boy to Bad Bunny and know the type of crowd that burner boy brings out and then that bad bunny brings out you're a horny toad yeah it's be a lot of so women in that crowd <laughs> damaris burner brings damaris, out. damaris was out there throwing ass to victoria monet yeah she, she, was. she don't think we saw her you know somebody said to me while we were watching it i could see maul with victoria and, and respect to victoria's situation family yeah with her baby father and all that yeah hypothetical they were saying they could see you with victoria that you guys would be a cute couple you could I feel the that. vibe and all that i agree would that be somebody that that you would be oh, interested no, in? No, Victoria's, I mean, all respect, she has a fiance and a family, a kid, mm-hmm. but no, Victoria's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So maybe siblings, if she had, that would be of age. That looked just like her. I mean, an uh, act sure, and why perform not? perform just like her. And sang like yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 and write like, just like her. Does she have a sister that sings just like her? <laughs> and her name was Victoria. Set me up. No, Victoria, <laughs> she's beautiful, but uh, we sat with her at BT weekend. Super cool. Like, that was my first time uh, actually having a conversation with her. We've been in like the, some of the same studio sessions. Yeah before and shit like that but that was like my first time having a real conversation but she looked great um i didn't know victoria could dance like that yeah, yeah. she was killing that she looked great like she she really was up there like really performing she looked really good i again should have been later but yeah it is what it is i mean she, she the main stage a little early but you know she's on the main stage so you know it's, it's the look and and I'm, sh- I'm sure a lot of people out there didn't know victoria set didn't know her her sound um, but here, now they do. Here comes the hive. She has amazing stage presence. Like it's just like her stage presence, her ability to dance and wipe keep your, wipe breath control. <laughs> 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 Yo, what you had to see there? She was like, "You're not I, on camera." She was like, "Wait." wait. <laughs> Again, respectful to Victoria, but. Damaris is not wiping her mouth if it's on there with no, no, Victoria. No, 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 no. No, no. She's letting it air dry. She's yeah. letting it air dry. <laughs> no, but she looked. Victoria looked great. She sounded great. Um, it was good to see her on the main stage getting her shit off. Like she's one of those artists that, you know, she's if you know she's a writer. She's yeah. she's written some, a lot of dope records. She's worked with a lot of amazing talent, amazing vocalists, Ariana Grande, um, and a few a bunch of other uh, acts. But it's good to see her on the main stage showing her talent and getting her shit off. I see Damaris did not miss a lyric of uh what that head game like. <laughs> Period. Have a long conversation with me if you like swimming under the sea, then dive. You know what? I like now oh that in, in RV to some degree <laughs> that women now have, we used to have to set the tone. Like guys would have to set like, you know, the when you try to go there, you put on a certain type of record. Women have so many records now that they can connect to the speaker. Yeah. To really get the move started. Yeah. How would you feel if you was in Shorty's crib and she just threw on what, what's that head game like by Victoria Monet? I mean, and I'm butchering the title, but that's what that's it's what called it is. Dive, but those it's, are the it's called it's called what that head game like. <laughs> I'm gonna just be like, swear, like I'm trying to. What is it like? Do you get nervous? No, you don't get nervous. You still get. 
<laughs> you can't Who still gets nervous with women? Like, Ma, do you like do girls? Do you like when girls like grab your head? Like if you like kissing her and shit, she like push your head down. We not doing that. I don't, do. Don't, don't. We not doing that. I, I don't mind the aggressive shit. I don't mind that, but don't push my head down. Like, don't do that. Right, listen, I let y'all know. Aggressively, but like guide it. You know. You know I know where I'm going. Do. No, I know where I'm going. Because if a man doesn't, you don't have to guide me. I, I know where tight. I'm going. I was in relationships, and I would get really Why? upset when he did that. Why? I don't like. I just. Thought, I feel like it's disrespectful to women. Okay. But with men, but, I think so. It's, it's not disrespectful to me. Nah, I, I, you yeah, don't need I to do guide that. me. I know where it's at, Damaris. I've been there a few times. I do exactly that. I, I know where it's at. The bad part about like damn near being bald is we can cover scratches on our back. When you see me with them scratches on the top of my head, you know I went crazy. He's really. You nasty. know I went crazy when I got the nail oh, shits right up here. Oh, well, they only scratch your head when you when you in the, when you put the tongue in the asshole like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. no, no, they'll they'll be no, there. No, no, they, ahead, dig, yeah. they dig the tell nails once you do tell that. Us tell us the more. nails dig when you hit that. It's a surprise. Oh shit! And yeah, hey, oh, now all of a sudden your head is what? bleeding. Do the movement again, Rory. You said, <laughs> what? What? yeah, you saw his me? back. Oh, his little his a back little came up. Yo, and so, that little so, red back came up off that couch like that. So Kanye West <laughs> going crazy on Instagram. I'm, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Kanye out of control. Someone get the Wi-Fi. Yo, listen, man. <laughs> Kanye has been going crazy. Which seems like a week, and it was only a day. We missed a lot of shit because we were we're doing the Quentin shit. We have another interview coming with Vin and Made. I feel like we missed a lot of fucking topics. It's a lot of shit going on in the world right now, man. Um, it was the weekend. He uh, I had a few people in L.A. last night that were going to the show, and everybody started texting me like, "Yo, he just canceled in the middle of his set." And I'm like, "Oh shit, what happened?" They like, he said he lost his voice. I'm like, "Oh, okay." Like I respect that, but. Obviously, the internet was killing the weekend because so many people had paid money and, you know, whatever. Some people probably traveled to come to the show. But I don't think people understand that level of art. And, you know, vocally, if an artist is on stage and they feel like I'm going to sound because I would rather cancel my show than to sound like yeah. shit. And the internet be like, yo, he's terrible live. And just do disservice to your fans where you can eventually reschedule it and they get the yeah. full experience. And then he said, yo, you, you'll be refunded. Why didn't they just Millie Vanilli it with um, that guy that did all those fake Michael Jackson references? You know one of them that Drake bought? Yeah. Did they ever confirm that? F that was not Michael Jackson, bro. I mean, did they ever confirm Drake's it? Drake's PR team is the greatest ever. I swear to God, if you go look at Scorpion now, it doesn't say feature Michael Jackson. Okay, good. So that, that is means, not Michael Jackson, yeah, so bro. That when that I heard that, that shit, Michael. I'm like, my ear is not the best, but this ain't Michael. Yeah. But the fact that they sold it like it was Mike was crazy. And the fact that I would say OVO has some of the best ears in music history. How did that slip How through? did they not? Like, yeah. bro, this ain't, how 40 go? But this is not Michael Jackson. Yeah. That's crazy. We never talked about that enough. They like, buried, they buried wild. that. Yeah, that's, they swept that under the rug. That's wild that they got that through there like that on Drake's album. And like, who was the one cutting those? Who sold it? Yeah, Like, did know. the Michael Jackson estate... Because if I'm Drake, I'm only buying from something the from the Jackson estate, state, exactly. not my, my man's. Yeah, that's why, that's like, yo, why I, got, that's I got some Michael verses yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, on my hard drive. That's why that's crazy. I never understood that one. But um, but yeah, uh, The weekend had to cancel his show because uh, vo his vocally, he just wasn't there. Yeah. The internet, you know, they killed him. And the internet is going to internet. But people just have to understand that artists, you know, especially when they take their craft serious, if they feel like I'm not 100% tonight. I'm going to sound like shit. I want to give you my best performance. I know that in the middle of the set, the night has started. The show has started. Everybody's kind of like in the mood. And then for the artist to say, yo, listen, I can't do this tonight. Vocal. I'm not. I know it's like fucked up. Yeah. But y'all have to understand that they're human and they're artists and they want to give you their best performance. So it's like, you know, take the weekend and, you know. Pray for him and hope that he gets better. And you know he might double oh, back I and you were do telling that show. Him to just, to just take the weekend to get his voice. That's, <laughs> oh, that I didn't too. know where we were going with double that. Oh, that, oh, that too. Yeah, because it just flows, D. You know what I'm saying? This is mm -hmm. just off the top. You're Listen, you, know, you get around Victoria Monet. The pen start working. Mm. She is engaged, man. Please, I'm what are y'all doing? I'm, she's an amazing writer. No, absolutely, amazing writer. Um, but yeah, shout out to the weekend. Um, get better, sound better soon, and hopefully you get back to LA and give the people a great show at the SoFi Stadium. All right, we are back with um, Elliot Wilson once again. Hey. Volume two. But now we are back with <laughs> Brian. I'm going to call you Brian B. Dot Miller. That's Me cool. And Brian coming you gotta through say your the environment. Whole, I had to, I had to but I got to give you the, the, the <laughs> official introduction because we sat down with Elliot yesterday. Yeah. And, you know, I've been giving y'all shit since y'all came back. First of all, welcome back. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And by the way, I think it's the only way we'll get a rap radar interview. This is the is only way. So? <laughs> yeah, I, I is that I a festival? Know. They'll never know. invite us to come sit with them uh, in oh. Malibu. I did. Yeah, because I'll actually eat. 
we had that for decor. First off, let's talk about the setup because right, this is my first time. This and is a big, it looks guys. like a big pa- baked potato on the outside. I mean, yeah. It does. It's like but a inside. Tin can. It's like yeah. It's almost like you get to a cute girl's house and you're like, oh, she has shower curtains. It's you okay. know how much this would cost in Brooklyn? Uh, about five grand, a- at least, right? At least. First, <laughs> first, last, third. Yeah. But, but you have a gym, yeah, yeah. and you have parking. Yeah, you like, body this, too. This, yeah. Bathroom. This gives yeah. like a bathroom. <laughs> it does give some type of nasty pod version of Bang Bros. When I first walked into it, I was like, mm, this is kind of nasty. Yeah. They try to throw it off like, with the silver These outside. lamps don't work. Yeah. Bang Bus. Yeah, this is definitely the, 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 the Bang Bus for sure. But it has AC. That's all that matters. Right? So as soon as people open the door, things. they're like, oh my God, it's, it's cool it's in here. So are, uh, are we here to squash these rumors? Yes. Yeah, so friends. Should we give some backstory? I hope so. Let's give some How backstory. How many of us have them? So, so Maul and uh, I don't know what episode it was. When you guys had announced that you guys were, they back, were back, the yeah, Rap Radar we're, was we're back. We're very happy about it. We did ads. Yes. Super excited. Mid-roll, uh, mid-roll Mafia. Yes, yeah, mid-roll, mid-roll Mafia. Mid-roll Mafia for sure. Well, we got to figure out pre-roll too. Mm. Um, you had said that you do not think Elliot and BDOT are friends. We talked to Elliot yesterday. <clears throat> we then opened the door to the pod bang bus. Yeah. And we seen BDOT <laughs> yeah. right next to Elliot. I yeah. kept my clothes on. And you almost did it like the bang bus shit. Like, yo, I got $400. You want to yeah, come yeah, in? Yeah. <laughs> Like, we're going that way. Just get in. No, but it was, um. first of all, it was just me throwing a shot uh, under Elliot's post and saying, I know a good PR stunt when I see one. Mm. <laughs> that, uh, these two are not friends. Um, But it is good to have you gentlemen both at the same time because yes, for real. we appreciate y'all. We appreciate what y'all do yeah, at the yeah. highest level uh, of what we do in the culture without, with our uh, form of journalism. Um, And you guys sit down with some of the, the best that we have in our culture. And y'all get intriguing conversations out of them. Mm-hmm. The Jamie Foxx Snoop uh, episode was 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 amazing. Yeah, that was fun. Thank, thank, you, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, we have y'all here now, and we just got to ask the question because B you weren't here yesterday. Okay. So I know sometimes you know as friends don't go everywhere together, but right. then it's like Ellie got here was like, <laughs> "Yo, bro, they really think we're not friends. You got to get out here." And like, <laughs> by the way, by the way, I didn't believe I bought all. Flight, yeah, I flew yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. Fill me I out. Ellie from Philly. You got to New York. Gotta <laughs> kill the rumors. Yo, flying from New York to Philly is crazy. Right? We have to kill the rumors. Cash app yeah. to go half of the Peter Pan bus to yeah. come down here. So, <laughs> Peter Pan bus. Yeah. I had pushback from all because I was like, well, nah, they fuck with each other. Then I'm in an Uber on Lafayette. Yeah. And I see B Dot walking wow. down like somebody killed his dog. Yeah. And I, I <laughs> put the window down. I said, B Dot, you are Elliot. I said, B Dot, you are right. He's like, Yeah, just just came from this rap radar interview. I was like, Fuck, Mo might be right. Oh, he was so upset. I think it was. I think it was. Yeah. It was it was. I'm confused had B Dot in his feelings. I'm confused. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because we can say it now. Shout out to I didn't think it was a great episode. I'm in my feelings a lot, so it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't think it was great. And it was like Was it just that energy? Bad, yeah, it was just a bad road game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like we, we felt it was really ready to kind of go there. The Migos thing is fascinating because because those dudes are actually real dudes. Yeah, it's hard for them to like publicly say the shit they want to say because they're, they're, fam- they're family they're not for real. Shade, roomy and gossipy. Exactly. Yeah. So they tinge on that edge of the thing. So it's disappointing. It was presented to us that they was ready to like. Yo, it's always presented clarity. like that. It's always presented yeah, it's like that. Clarity, but we have what an, you an artist we will will not name. We do have like a, a saying for that now. Is he going to do this? Because every time we have artists that text Maul, I like, yo, we about to air all this shit out. Can't <laughs> fucking wait. Yeah. Maul and I get excited. We get yeah. production together. Yeah. And they come here and be like, yo, I love everybody. Exactly. Yeah. I hope yeah. everyone wins. Which is Everyone's fine. Blessed. Loving everybody is so okay. That's, that's cool. That's, Just don't yeah, gas but don't me up tell me like you ready to go and, and <laughs> tell us about everything that's going on. And you want to really talk about it. And then you get and sit down like beat out as obviously saying. And then you in New York feeling that? Nah, it was just weird. It was just like a weird time. I was walking down Lafayette and, uh, and say, yo, be that. And I said, so, Roy, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. I was, like, I was in a, a Toyota Camry Uber, too. It wasn't even a fly Uber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, that's the Lafayette Uber, though. Yeah, yeah. You got to yeah, be sure. Lafayette and the Camry, for sure. Yeah. Well, he was Cognito. going to that nice social club over there around that. I, that I saw Elliot oh, Lolo hours later. Yeah. Lolo House, yeah. So he linked me at Lolo. Got some fans, um, yeah. Has there been interviews you guys probably won't take because of that, that you know the artist is... Is one oh, of those people. Be that turns everybody. Yeah, now. I think going forward is like if we're not going to be able to talk about certain things, like let's not have a conversation. I agree. Like, let's I'm not with waste that. our time. I'm with that. So I think that Quavo and uh, Takeoff was kind of like a learning lesson. Okay, yeah, going I get forward. That. But also serious about like you ain't hot or the timing of things. Beat us quit. Beat us ruthless. Beat us. I'm like, well, maybe we can kind of make this work. And he's not hot. Or this, it like, got to make sense. Beat us right? like more ruthless than I. Am. I get that. Um, was there anything post Khaled interview? Or even watching it back or doing the edit that you wanted to ask him or stop him and say, 
hey, you kind of sound full of shit right now. <laughs> Another uh, one. No, nah, I mean, no, nah, I think we got everything out. Like, in a conversation, I told him, what if the vocal, because he said he likes what Drake likes, right? Yeah, that but was also, a good one. That clip was great. But I also told him, like, what if you don't like the vocals? Because the vocals come in all the time, you're excited, but what right. about how do you, yeah. you know, manage quality control? So that's mm-hmm. a real question. Mm-hmm. But um, I think we pretty much got everything off our chest. I did um break his glass when I was at his house. Oh, that was great. Was party now. That was now, great. What happened was, is that Khaled has these wine glasses, and he had coasters, but the coasters were too small. And then the wine glass was sweating. So as I was trying to grab it, it slipped. It just slipped. Okay. Right before we started taping, it was so funny. And it just, I was like, oh, Cali kept shit. Cali was like, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So <laughs> God loves you. Yeah, it was like, it's okay. Yeah. God so did tell me, Cali is an amazing human being and hospitality. Cool. Anytime you're at his oh, house, yeah. you yeah, no, break no. something, They were fine. sweeping and cleaning immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before the glass hit the ground, the lady yeah. caught it. Yeah, I know. Like, and, you know, I was like, at a, at a sign of good faith, I sent him some new ones the next day. Wait, Such a gentleman. I had to, man. man. Look at that's, I had that's, to. that's the Brian. That's yeah. not the Peter. That's Brian, Brian talking. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Brian. That's definitely Brian talking oh, right wait. there. I got you right Oh, there. thank you. Uh, oh, so, and um, water. Not Jasani. So, so now that y'all are back. <laughs> I'm talking about pH balance. Who are, who are some, of the, uh, some of the guys that y'all are looking forward to talking to that y'all had already, but now so many things have happened in their lives and in their careers where it's like, we got to sit down with him again. Uh, J. Cole, for sure. Wow, he promised yeah. that we was going to have another conversation with him at Dreamville Fest, but mm-hmm. it hasn't really happened yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else, Elliot? Who do you think? Everybody want Kendrick. Everybody, we haven't talked to Kendrick yet. Him. What do you, what do you guys think a Kendrick interview that, would look like? That's interesting. You, you guys, what you say? What, what would, would a Kendrick, Kendrick interview, interview like? at this point in his life look like? <laughs> Well, he, of, he'd have to. The thing about the moments to rob and whether you love it or like it or whatever or hate I, it, I love it. Um, I love it too. He said that's so therapeutic and so much to unpack from that album. Exactly. Like mm-hmm. that shit is at least an hour and a half, two hours. It would be, be interesting to see his perspective of those things he touched on in the album now that he got that out to the world. That would be yeah. me what's intriguing. Like and how and also the energy he's gotten back from everybody because family business. Like he aired a lot of things out. So mm-hmm. I, I wonder what that looks like now after you get that off, you know. We 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 were talking right when the album came out. You know, his, his, his wife, or I, I'm not sure the status, yeah. is in my mm-hmm. business. Kids, he's kept hidden. They yeah. didn't yeah. sign up for none of this shit. 100%. Like, we saw even with Lemonade 444, as, as much as that is still private business, they are both superstars. And, you know, such as comes with the business. Kendrick has, his family is not, they're not superstars. Right. So mm-hmm. I'm curious what that was like when he played it for them. Are yeah. you okay with this? Then what happened? Yeah, yeah. I, I wish Kendrick would do and that. Not that like, he owes it to us, but yeah. he'll probably only talk to Tim from Amazon because they go to Africa together. But <laughs> shout out Tim! <laughs> shout out to Tim. <laughs> right? You see, if you're not from Compton, you can't get this. If you're not from Compton, I guess I did love that aspect of it with the position Tim is in now and yeah. Amazon where they at. That he went right to like, but hometown. he didn't take Tim to Africa. He took Carl Cherry to Africa. Yeah, Spotify. Yeah. Shout out to Carl. Good dude. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, Good shout dude. out Carl. I mean, yeah, Kendrick here we is are in, in Philly. He's in yeah. Kendrick is in Kendrick all of us pull ups shit. So <laughs> he might yeah, be ready. Right? He might be ready to come outside and sit and talk with people. I hate man. it when I see like rappers in New York. I'm like, yo, what the? F- what do you? I could have met you well, up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> if ASAP Ferg gets a podcast, is over for us because he get it. Yeah, he got Kendrick uptown on Linux Ave drinking smoothies and and Tiger Bone Tiger Bone and shit and and doing pull ups. It's like I be in that area. Like I never see anybody and the one day I'm not Kendrick is Kendrick doing is at fucking El Porto <laughs> eating pull seafood up. and doing pull ups <laughs> at Black the Star Music Hut say- <laughs> <laughs> he was he was breaking generational curses I Yo, <laughs> yeah he was he was um, speaking of, of pod wars and media wars <laughs> you guys were at Khaled's house how did you feel when Rob Markman got the guru breakdown uh, piece because I personally will admit I was frustrated and upset I, w- I was cool with it you know like I like the fact like Rob is you know, great guy. I hope he's, know he's I hope a, people know he's in a group chat with Pod yeah. with Rob. So it's, Rob is yeah. Rob is cool, and I was just you know, oh, you're I, in that infamous group chat. The infamous yeah, I'm not group in chat. That. Like, Neither am I. They talk shit about that, me in that group no, chat. Break down no, the coolest. The cool, like we're in a group chat with Hov, but that's not as cool as the other group I'm chat not that Beat Out said. Jay Z. I don't know what he's talking about. Beat Out the other group chat. We can vacuum the floor after we drop all the names. Let's do it. I don't know what he's talking about. Can I snitch on the group chat? Yeah, please. The one to Beat Out said that we're not worthy enough to be in Rory. Uh, Kaz is in that group chat. Yes, shout out to Kaz. Hovain, Hovain is in there. Charlemagne, the Charlemagne. Uh, uh, I'm so glad I'm not in that group chat. <laughs> Mo, oh, Mo, all they do is talk. Christ. All they do is talk. It's, it's gossip, bro. Yeah. 
<laughs> they talk and, shit about us. And yeah. Wayno's in there as well. So okay, that's yes. family. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I might be able to get in with Wayno. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. You know? I could be Wayno. That's my man. He's it's a lot of allies and enemies in the group chat. So I don't even know how it's managed in there. It's all love. I like the competitive. I like the competitive nature. Like I think that we all have a. A mutual respect for each other. I did at one point have a real issue with Charlemagne mm-hmm. only because of what he said. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's you know, it is what that's it is. Nah. Yeah, that shit, I was happy they thought you didn't like beat out. I remember in the beginning. Really? Too. No, you really? making that up. That? I don't remember that. Was it fake news? Out? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> definitely <laughs> fake news. Good people. No, both yeah, sides. I love good people. Beat out is my guy. The virus yeah. tried to kill me. Yeah, yeah, that was the funniest shit. I watched that clip a thousand times. Yeah, because you know what it's saying. He does it. If you study that clip, like he goes into this thing. And then beat us smartly. Like, we're not actors like you guys. You guys are like actors. We make us feel like we got to take acting lessons and shit. <laughs> like, you guys are like serious about it. So me and beat are not despians, but I think in the Jamie Foxx clip, if you really watch it, like tape and really break it down, the best thing is that B dot immediately jumps into the whole position of like, let's pretend he's Trump. Yep. Let's mm-hmm. ask him questions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like as if he as if he's Trump. Yeah. That's unplanned. And then you watch that part and it goes over great. And I jump in with the fake news and then he he's leveraged off that. Yeah. And then if you see it, the clip, then we have that bit. It starts to wrap up. I literally give him like a fist bump, like, oh shit, you like, thank yeah. you, man. Thank mm-hmm. you. And then he gets fist bump. He goes, he gave me the virus. He starts, <laughs> whole, he starts a whole other bit. Yeah. The and guy and is the, a maniac, the, the, the little man. shit Jamie Foxx did in that, even when, when B Dot got into like the journalist, I'm talking to Trump now. Yeah. See what he's doing. You see what he's doing? Like, <laughs> the same shit Trump do anytime somebody asks a question. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Nah, excuse that was me. great. No, Jamie Foxx is, yeah, his comedic mind. Like, he's, and it was times with Snoop, like, it's so funny to see Snoop kind of, like he was with Dr. Dre some way, Snoop could play number two. Cause yeah. we, yeah. a, we know what a four yeah. Snoop is and we all love Snoop. Yeah. But Snoop was letting Jamie be in control, run the room. And like even when Snoop was talking about things, I could Jamie being so close to me, I could see his comedic mind trying to figure like how am I gonna rejoin yeah. the yeah. conversation? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's powerful, man. Mm-hmm. It's uh, speaking of Oscar, Super mm. Bowl. Yeah. Anyone care? I think that's fucking insane. No, that's a win. Shout out to Desmond. No, J. Emmy, that's a big Oscar, win. I never know which one Emmy, it is. Emmy, Emmy. Emmy, they got Emmy. 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 That's huge yeah. for the culture. It's a major win. I had, we had on board to this morning and thank, congrats to him and Des and, you know, for all that drama. Look, the Super Bowl, like, that's a big platform. They've taken it to another level. Dre mm-hmm. added his genius to it. Whether or not he made the right decisions of who joined him or not, you know, that's not for us to judge. But I, I love when hip-hop's recognized that way. So I think it's huge that they got the Emmy. Big one. Do you guys want a Snoop and Dre album? That they're working on right now. Yeah, we we confirmed it. If the I music thought. is good, yeah, you know what I'm saying like I, <laughs> skeptical. What, what if it's not? They and R. Keep it. <laughs> like I'm just like the kind of guys. Like, it sounds good on paper. Like sounds too good on paper. Yeah, like hopefully it's better in actual practice instead of theory. You know what I'm saying? Because they made magic. It's harder capture lightning in a bottle you know once again so but if you're snoop don't you want like a real dread like you had the moment you had doggy style you had 2001 but it's like you're snoop dog like he was like the, he was like the anchor of the whole shit like if you're snoop at this point and you've maintained relevancy you feel like you you need that dre I, look like you need one more like moment with dre i I'm, guess i'm, I'm not whole, mad at it but it it, it bro, it the music it has to sound it has good to, it has man. to be phenomenal yeah. Yeah. It's gonna and, hurt. And like that's the catalog gonna hurt is already perfect and i love that snoop still works with the younger artists i love that dre sound has not aged at all he mm-hmm. still works with the younger artists like yeah. i'd rather dre lock in production wise with the younger kids and snoop do the same with the younger producers mm-hmm. than them get there like mm-hmm. or their catalog is flawless right do, do we really need it at this point we don't need it you don't need yeah it's welcome need it. yeah, yeah but exactly. we okay but we need dre to fuck with the young kids we need snoop to fuck with the young kids yeah I yeah. think that's needed. Yeah. Well, that said, had confirmed that Corday wrote some of his bars. So yeah, that yeah. shows his dedication to recognizing, like, you oh, know, we Snoop, all say Snoop Corday definitely rocks yeah. with the younger generation. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. But listen, man, any, any other uh, um, shit we can we can stir up? I don't want no power. War. I don't want no, 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 no. We no. love y'all. We we love y'all. <laughs> we, we happy that y'all are back. <laughs> I, I don't think my, I love how B Dot can be wearing a do rag one minute and then sitting down with Jamie Foxx and Snoop the next. I it's just the greatest shit in the world. I put my good clothes on for that. You know what I mean. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think our passes scan at Made in America right now because we did the fuck Jay Z segment with B Dot. It was our verse swap. It wasn't a fuck. Jay- it was worse Jay Z. Yeah, I don't know how songs. y'all. I don't know how y'all pulled that off. I was mortified at home. I the was good like, folks at Complex. What are they doing suggested? at the Complex? Yeah. Let's say for my show <laughs> complex, brackets every complexing. Wednesday, right, twelve p.m. Mm-hmm. Um, they was like, hey, <laughs> season three, just, se- season four, actually. Woo, okay. FYI. Get your shit off. Yeah, <laughs> so, season four. Congrats, real. And it was like, hey, thank you. I appreciate it. It was like, um. Why don't we just do worst Jay Z songs? I was like, hmm, okay. Who can we get? We gotta get the whole Avengers, man. I said, Rory and Maul. Okay, let's make it happen. I, and when I got that text, I was like, wait, whoa, y'all want me to sit down and talk about Jay's worst lyrics? 
Nah, we're and songs. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. And I, of course, I signed, Jay signed off on it. And yeah. That was all good. He was a and, good sport and, yeah, about and it. Yeah, so. not. He doesn't take himself that seriously. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, and, he, and he doesn't mind. So, he admitted, so, he so said, we think. He said Hollywood was his worst song. Okay. And he, he admitted to that. No, not in Hollywood. He said anything. What and one? I forgot. You, is that anything the one with Usher? Usher. Oh, I hit oh, that Usher, yeah, the, yeah. the strip club song. Yeah. Is that the one that yeah. we crowned the, the nah. worst? Was it that one? I think it might have been. I think that was the one we crowned yeah, yeah, yeah. the worst. I, I would hope so. Yeah, it yeah. was anything. anything. I think, yeah, it, was I think anything. it was anything. It was pretty bad on Kingdom yeah. Come. So, Usher yeah. got like remember how they did Hot Toddy. Hot Toddy wasn't that bad. You know, like Him Hot Toddy. Usher don't really they can't make magic together. Mm. Now. All right, well, Hot Toddy was the Sean Paul joint. Listen, you don't like that. Show up. Come my side check out. Come back side. I hate that record. We throw the but at one time. I hate it. I hate Sean Paul on the record. And I was saying to y'all earlier, like when Forever Young comes on at the concert when he used to have the set list, it's like I'm going to the exit. I'm trying to. You don't like that? I'm gonna beat traffic. I'm beating traffic. I'm beat the That's a great song. And then, then song. like then whole bitch, you know whole bitch, you like you just on that pure hip hop shit. You don't get it. Backpack is you know you walk. You don't get it. You don't even understand. You don't understand. You know what I'm saying? This That's is like a big thing. You can't digest. Have you, you and you, your you blue bath hip hop? Thing. You you put the flashlight on and did this? No, light is up. No, 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 you can't do that. Light is up. Light is up. You definitely put your light up. No, you can't put the light up. Forever young. He put his arm around his girl. You shake the ladder. No, that's you hip hop a radar ladder. You hip hop a radar ladder. We can't put the light up. No love for Mr. Hudson. No, we love him. I love Mr. Hudson. I love Mr. Hudson. That's a that's a Rory Mall guest right there, Mr. Hudson. Mr. Hudson would be amazing. That, he that, yo, with us, though. I'm just saying that's a great record, man. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Forever Young, is? Forever Young. B, that got Holmes some personal. Version? That got some personal <laughs> shit with B Dot. He was going through something with that record drop. That's a great song, man. I mean, Jay, his lyrics was was always top notch, but uh, you're not gonna go right to that. Wait, you, you think Forever Young took B Dot out the dark? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> look, look, look at his Wait, eyes. Great record. So, so, so when <laughs> when Rap Radar was in the video was in between uh, <laughs> negotiations, he's still he was just he's that's still what trying to be young at all. He's like the video. Like, nah, we not fucking with it. I don't even remember the video. It was black. And white. Yeah, some, 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 so was 99 problems. And some kids were skateboarding. Hey, uh, some brothers eat We didn't get it. Some we didn't get it. Some people yeah, we need, need it. Hudson. Beat that has forever young. Yeah, yeah. So good. yeah I get it. Great get record. It. Great record. He stays centered. <laughs> I don't like Nike shorts with the Jordans unless. Yeah, this is Did like, they have the Nike symbol on the back of the threes? The all right, never mind. I take yeah, it back. I apologize. No, I should have right. never done that. He's doing it right. Festival chic. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. You can't, you can't I, come. I come. broke these out because I stand with Ye. Yes, sir, you against can, Adidas. You, you can't come here. These fly, are these are the colorways that, that it, you could tell a rookie at a festival. <laughs> yeah, you, this is your, it's your first time. <laughs> you can tell a rookie at a festival. You could tell when a rookie is at a festival. They get way too fresh. You can't be fresh. You got to be like laundry day. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Errands. Errands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gotta look like you're running some errands. Yeah. How do y'all feel about um, all the shit that Ye got going on right now on Instagram? Instagram. Kanye loves him some posts. Kanye thinks he he thinks too fast for his fingers, I think. I will say, though, I've been saying this lately. Besides these recent posts, I say the higher you go up the ladder of success, the more Kanye makes sense. I get it. The more I understand... Okay. Where he's talking about as being a creative and a visionary, because yeah. there's a lot of people in these positions that don't get it. Oh yeah. We so I'm that. like, you know what? When Elliot and I are negotiating and doing things, he's like, yo, easy. I get it, Kanye. Easy. Yeah, Kanye. Easy. Listen, easy. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I've been vocal when I don't agree with them, and I'm vocal when I agree with them. I disagree with putting those people's faces up there because that could be a liability. Yeah. Your fans is fucking crazy. Who knows? Yeah. But everything he's saying is not wrong. Nah, he makes some Kanye valid is points. Correct. Yeah. Kanye yeah. is a, he's smart. He's a, he's educated. He's intelligent. He's not. You know, we, we may not understand him because we're not in his business like that. Yeah. But he's not just doing these things just because he woke up and decided that's what he wanted to do. Yeah. yeah he's a passionate guy. And I think that shows in his music, of course, and yeah. in business as well. So mm-hmm. so before we go, is the Drake reign over? <laughs> Podcast hot topic. Is Drake not number one anymore? I don't think staying alive helps. Mm. Yo, you hate staying alive. Oh my god, Rory. Too, Yo, every every staying no. alive clip, I send it to Rory. Like, like, ah, uh, yeah. uh, it's, uh, 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 it's no. Not, but it's you guys let Khaled say that it was it was the greatest hook of our I, I, our I, lifetime. I right? disagree. I disagree. I think the watch- Bee Gees disagreed. Yeah, <laughs> actually, they did. let's not play ourselves. Bee Gees incredible record. It's incredible. <laughs> I think Y Club did it better. You know, with I agree. Whole, well, I don't think it's even comparable between yeah, staying alive Wyclef and Wyclef shit. Can we that? appreciate that Wyclef shit? Because I was at the source at the time. Mm. We sh- we shitted on that you in real it. time. Hated wow. that in real time. Now you look back on that, that Wyclef shit was fly. Was bad. Yeah, yeah. That shit was, was bad. Wyclef yeah. and Will I Am have a lot of similarity. Like 
going I, I, from the real hip hop shit to yeah. going to mainstream. I never thought about that comparison, but I see it. I see it now. But being and then we look time, back man. at a lot of Will I Am shit that we hated. And it's like this was a joint. Like yeah. why do we hate this when <laughs> it came a bop. out? Yeah, Yo, this is actually a bop. Okay, yeah. you yeah. need a time to time need to happen. But yeah, um, staying alive. CLB anniversary. Ah. You, you went to the, yo, that's a, we might not be friends. You went to the release party? You didn't invite me? Last tell minute. Me? I flew in last minute. Yeah, yeah, for, the, for the Khaled? I, I, was posting I, didn't, I didn't know about it until yesterday. I barely got did in. Did you take a picture in front of the neon sign? I'm like, yo. I didn't. I was ripping and running, kid. You could have given me the heads up, man. I'm sorry. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> my dear maybe friend, they're not I'm sorry. <laughs> We're You're getting my the wrap-up from You're my dear friend. Yo, don't do this to me. Yeah, Damaris, don't, don't do this to like, me. Don't do that to me. Damaris is the producer, man. Let's yeah, but she know. can't give me the thing. Don't do that. <laughs> right here. She ain't give me the middle right. finger. She, nah, yeah, she might as well. This is this. This is this. this you is got to hit her with the Ric Flair. Ric Flair, don't wrap me up. Yeah. Do we have a Do we have a date for the Banks interview? What else What else can we look forward to? So whenever this comes out, the Banks interview will probably be out by then. Um, That's coming out every Thursday. Every Thursday. podcast. Every Thursday. Might go twice a week because we want to compete with you guys, but we'll see how it goes. Twice a week with an interview and the way y'all do interviews. Yeah, right? Talk to them, Ross. No, I'm trying to corner the market. That's a lot of work. You know what? I'm competitive, but I'm not in competition, if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, Dame Dash. That's that's when that's when PR says, hey, you're being too arrogant. Here's what to say. No, I'm not competitive. Be, be I'm just basically competitive. Just say you're a candle in the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that shit don't even help. No, I like to be competitive, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, we asked uh, uh, when Rob got the interview with Guru. Yeah, go, Rob. No, two quality oh. interviews a week. No one's really doing that. That's, that's difficult. Like, no, yeah, I'm just saying, I, yeah. if anyone can do it, y'all would be the two to do it. Well, I just know how absolutely. difficult it is to like really conduct no, real hard. interviews. It's hard. And doing that twice a week, shooting the shit with him twice a week is tough. It's tough, right. <laughs> like, yeah. No, I don't know how y'all I can do never that. imagine. Okay. And then, yo, those kids, like, I got it before we get out of here, Maul. You yes. as Bishop, man. Congratulate, brother. Yeah, that, that was a really good Ain't no one man yet. above the pod, No brother. one man above the pod. Listen, we just trying to have fun and promote our yep. tour. Tickets available now, new right yes. mm. Yo, um, make me feel like me and B-Dot got to get acting lessons or some shit, man. No, what you, what you and B-Dot are doing are, yeah, you, listen, the conversations that y'all are having, the questions that y'all ask, uh, how personal y'all get with with some of our favorite uh, artists and in in, in in the culture, y'all are like you know the the top of the top. It gets it doesn't get any better than y'all. Okay. So what y'all are Thank doing you. is exactly what what we need. Y'all y'all are one of the few podcasts that I actually sit down and watch and listen to because I know y'all are gonna ask shit that I would ask if I was sitting in front of these gentlemen. Yeah. So. You know, we're happy to have y'all back. Dynamic duos y'all. up in Thank this you, motherfucker, man. man. We dynamic and duos. God damn it, we got to do a rap radar. Shit, that'd be hard. Fuck. Let's do it. If they doing twice a week, then. We'll be that desperate. They might need us. <laughs> <laughs> they might start running. There's only guess. so many artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Rory, hey, Rory, 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 Rory. Yo, y'all want to do a whole week? Fuck it, we'll take, we'll take it. The but uh, we thank y'all, man, for thank you. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Back. Rap Radar. Do say. Do shout say, thank Dez, you for man. the Do Shout say. out to Dez. Dez don't get enough props, man. Shout, shout out to Dez. Dez. Shout out to uh, everybody at Do Say. Shout out to everybody at Rock Nation. Made in America, Philly 2002. Rap Radar, B-Dot. 2002. Throwback. 2022, I'm sorry. I know you're right the Daryl Strawberry Too much do say. Yeah. Too much, <laughs> too much do say. Yeah. Um, Philly Made in America 2022 Rap Radar B-Dot. Yep. Elliot Wilson. My friend B-Dot. Thank you for yes. having us. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for sitting with us, man. Family. Bestie. All right, well, we back with a guest, man. Just got off the stage. Air mattresses in the crowd. Yeah. Surf, <laughs> surfing. That shit was um, crazy. One of the more creative things I've ever seen uh, yeah. added to shows at this Tried point. Tried to yeah. add safety into it. Keep yeah, it yeah. safe. But I just found out you can get sued at, at shows and shit. For that? Because of the air mattress? Well, for anything. Like, I didn't know that, like, that was <laughs> for a thing. anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can get sued for anything. Cause, cause yeah. we, we thought Tra- the Travis air got sued for performing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Travis did way more to perform. But, <laughs> but like, nah, we throw fruit snacks out of the crowd. They're like, yo, that's a liability. Like, you yeah. can take somebody's eye out. That's some shit. I was like, oh, damn, bro. God. That's a fruit snack. Yeah. Um, if a fruit snack bro. takes your eye out, yeah, well, you, you should be home yeah. anyway. You should not be <laughs> in a festival. We fucked up the intro because it's family. This is Armani White here. Yeah, Armani White. Lock up. Yes. Listen, listen, this is my second time in Made in America. The first time, Rory saved my life. Uh, they had Duce Palooza right before our set. Yes. But if they did not do that shit, boy, <laughs> we'd have been performing for staff for sure. Like, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and it wasn't because we were dope. It was it was just a quiet ass fucking park. Because yeah. it was like we were at, uh, whenever the gates opened, yeah, we were yeah, the yeah. minute after. Right. And yeah. they just heard bass from Austin. And yeah, yeah. all these kids just ran over and made us look like we were the hottest shit moving. That's yeah. the dope thing about festivals, though. Like, as soon as kids hear something, yeah. they just they go running to uh, see who yeah, it is. They don't know like, what it is. They're yeah, like, all right, no, let's go check it out. Sound like 808. That, yeah, that, that makes sense. <laughs> What's been going on, man? It's, it's, <laughs> I have some questions, <laughs> bro. <laughs> shit has been a journey, bro. It's been a, 
Especially since the last time I saw you, it been a fucking. I know. I done took some trips around the sun like that shit. Yeah, it been, it been crazy for sure. <laughs> so how how do we go from being the amazing musician that yeah. cares about every last fucking detail <laughs> and every last bit of the artwork down to everything to and, Billy Eilish and, and fucking TikTok does yeah. it right 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 yeah. so uh, some women doing somersaults and hoodies yeah <laughs> see the women are gonna dictate the culture I keep telling people sure, that. I, I know bro that's what I'm saying like I like I don't, you you see Rory came to the studio with me like years and years and years ago, ago yeah. yeah and he know I was on some like nah everything gotta be fine tuned I <laughs> right. played him the whole project I was like he's like alright so bet it's done I was like nah I'm about to rework the whole shit yeah, yeah. You know what I mean so like now I'm just kind of like having fun. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. like I got was so into the like the meticulous. Shit. Yeah. yeah, so it was like you overthink it sometimes. Exactly. As an artist. Yeah. But now I, I ended up sitting with this project for a whole another year. Okay. Just because I wanted to keep fine tuning shit, and it yeah. was like now it's just like, bro, let's just get this shit out and have some fun with it. And right. then that was the record that you know we decided to have fun with. It's shit. going crazy. It went I, stupid. Bro. I was happy Thank that it, it wasn't like a shitty record. It's a good record. Because record. <laughs> really a lot of record. TikTok records that blow up, like they're yeah. catchy, but they're shitty records. Yeah. Oh no no no. For At sure, least this actually felt like a good good record. But I was. Did like, you come up with the somersault in the hoodie? Nah, 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 nah. The thing is, I tried this shit. Mm. Fell, broke a couple, you know what I mean? Broke some furniture and <laughs> yeah. shit. Like, hey, what? That, that shit was bad. I said, nah, y'all got it. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all do that. Yeah, right, right. It's y'all thing. Yeah. I'm going to fall back. Like, right, right. yeah, nah, I didn't come up with the somersault. Now. I, I tried a whole bunch of other trends and shit. They, they mm. in my privates right now. Like, I <laughs> shit went right off of my TikTok. But right. yeah. I was telling Damaris, that's what I want to see. All the outtakes of all these women doing somersaults off their bed. Yeah. And, and not landing. Nah, nah. Not sticking yeah. to landing. Some people, some people have gotten hurt. I can guarantee you. Yeah, that. no, kick the cameras, oh. all sorts of wild shit. Does, uh, is there some catch 22 to this success? Do you feel like because you have such a larger fan base now with this record and it's mm -hmm. at what, 10 billion streams or some shit? Yeah. No, 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 it's 40 oh, I, billion view, view. Yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. apologies. I, yeah, yeah. I, I undermined <laughs> you with 10 billion streams. Yeah. 40 billion streams. 30. Don't, yeah, don't show them yeah, one is 30 yeah, billion. Right, 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 do, yeah. do you have to approach shit different now or you um, still want to stick? I mean that's that's TikTok. Like the forty billion is on TikTok. Yeah. Like I I'm you know like I'm I'm still an artist outside of TikTok. And the great mm. thing about this shit is it didn't just live on TikTok. You yeah. know what I mean? It yeah. ain't just like a record that it got millions of videos, billions of views, but like nobody ever actually listened to the song. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the shit transferred over my little my little back catalog. Mm. The stream, the money then came went up a little couple. That's you know good, that shit good. multiplied. So like yeah, I'm chilling. Like I, I like my thing is. With Billy, with a record like Billy Eilish, I was having fun. I was still being myself, so it's, yeah. it's easy for me to keep being myself as opposed to like, you know what I'm saying? But the Billy Eilish record, so you have the ears now. Yeah. So yes, now sir. they can really get into Armani, the artist, yeah, and exactly. really see that it's a whole different vibe. Exactly, exactly. Bro, I, I do a whole bunch of like, because my main thing is like, I, I define the genre as happy hood music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm, I'm yeah. a nigga from Philly. Like, there's already a connotation that come with that, just being from Philly. So it's like, all right, let me take that. West Philly, right? Yeah, from West Philly. So it's like, let me take that, take that whole thing that y'all, you know, like that y'all already think about Philly and just turn turn it around. Like, I come from the same hood, but I found a brighter, more colorful way to tell my story. So, mm. you know what I mean? So with, with, with that, it's just... It's still like it's gonna be some Billie Eilish's. It's gonna be some some of the older yeah, have, style gotta records. Have fun. Like, yeah, but it's always just gonna be uplifting. It's, it's like I think about it like a funeral. It's like instead of mourning the death, I'm gonna celebrate the life. Even if right. I'm talking about some dark shit, I'm gonna celebrate the life. You know what I'm saying? Has uh has Billy reached out? Billy ain't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, Billy ain't doing a yeah, goddamn nah, thing. Nah, nah, no somersaults. No, <laughs> no hoodie. No, Wait, I'm no merch collab on a hoodie. Right? Yeah. Come on, she, Billy. What are you my doing? My manager said her manager. He hit. He hit her manager up. Her manager was like, "Yo, Billy's really happy for Armani, but she doesn't plan on leaning in." I said, oh, "She said, fuck that nigga.' Wait, wait. She doesn't plan on leaning in. <laughs> like she's like right now. She oh, that's such a PR. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not gonna yeah, lean yeah, into right, it. Like, yeah, yeah. What the but, Billy? Don't lean into the goddamn record. Well, no, Drake was the other one. When Drake did the interlude with Game, oh yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. that was the best PR oh, move. Saying I'm not so doing your yeah. verse, and there was someone else we interviewed that had the greatest like my energy's not in the place oh, to man. support you at the moment. Like it was some <laughs> shit like that where I was like, oh, I need to use that. Yeah, no, nah, her energy's definitely not in the place to support. That was. Oh, it's gonna bother me too. Yeah, because I need to write it down. Because we it. always okay. like that is such a great yeah. thing to say, but. Billy lean into the goddamn yeah. record. God damn it. Omani's a great guy. She cleared this sample for me, though. Like, she. Well, that's, well, that's love. love. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, love. That's, all, that's yeah. all I really like. I'm, I'm still appreciative of Billy for doing that yeah. shit because Universal waited to the very end, mm. the very end of the clearance process to be like, wait, did y'all ask Billy to do this shit? Yeah. Yeah. So they want to see and them I, numbers go yeah, up to have yeah. a little bit more leverage. Yeah. Yeah. No, they ain't want that call from Billy after that shit went out. Part, they, yeah. they, 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 they ain't know what to say to but that. But it is, it's cool that she cleared it. Yeah, no, that was a good job. That was for sure. Good segue into the question we've been asking every artist. Yeah. Who's an artist you DM'd that did not reply to you? <laughs> um, 
Boy, it's a list. Uh, <laughs> Everybody has a list. Yeah, no, nah, it's a list because you got you you got to shoot a couple shots. I just found out that this shit worked. Like I shot mm-hmm. one at uh uh uh. I own some like like not like super big, but I shot one at ski mask. He was like, "Yeah, bro, let's do it." Yeah. Uh, uh, game hit me up. Uh, uh, G Easy, my favorite white guy, uh, he hit me Thanks. up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. he's like, he's like I was just favorite. I was just I was in the studio with you before. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> nah, that's cool. I get down. G Easy, you yeah, Irish, you <laughs> Irish, bro. It's different. It's different. It's different. <laughs> yeah, you Billy Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am not Billy Irish. <laughs> my name is not Billy Irish. Put Rory on the show. Yeah, no, put Billy. I'm about to say put Billy Irish on. Yeah, nigga, that's the remix, Armani. Billy Irish with Rory. Shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't have much of a budget, so we got this guy. <laughs> nah, nah. Um, um, damn, it's it's a couple that definitely didn't that didn't. Uh, uh, I don't even want to say that shit. Bro. That shit embarrassing. <laughs> shit, G Easy would be perfect for that remix. G, that's his pocket. That's yeah, his, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, G Easy. Yeah. I, I had. See, the thing is, though, they said that. But it was like, yo, because G Easy did the um, what's the one record with him and ASAP and um, um oh, uh, not nah, Cardi's not on that. Yeah, yeah no, Cardi, Cardi is, is on that. Cardi is on that. Yeah. But but in that in that situation, that scenario, G Easy was kind of like the Armani White in that situation. Like a lot of he had a lot of more yeah. like culture mm, yeah. tap in. So I'm like, damn, do I? You know what I mean? Like like I, I think we could find another record for me and G Easy to go I crazy agree. on. I agree. Uh, you didn't whisper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who do you who do you want to remix? <laughs> um, nah, so we we tapped we tapped a few different people. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just yell a bunch of shit out because I don't think any of them's having it. But uh, <laughs> we tapped. Yeah, nah, listen, yeah. that record's taking off. No, nah, we tapped. Uh, we tapped Jack Harlow. Uh, we tapped Uzi. Okay. We tapped. Um, um, yeah, I got some funny shit to tell you about that Uzi off, off camera. But uh, <laughs> we got uh, tapped Jack Harlow, Uzi. Um, Damn, Uzi would be good. interesting on that. Uzi would be tough. Uzi, yeah, Uzi, Phil, Uzi. Philly thing too. Yeah, yeah. we're right. I mean, so uh, we tapped. We tapped them too. I think. I want to say Lotto or something. I, you know what? So I was literally about to say, what about Lotto? Yeah, 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 yeah. Lotto's that, pocket too. My yeah. thought was Lotto. That was my my she initial joint was Lotto. That. The first <laughs> shit I said was Lotto. I fuck with, with you know like this woman rapper, so that'd be my shit. So we gotta ask, man, because we've been asking all the artists that come through kicking uh-huh. with us. Lunch with Jay Z. <laughs> We're gonna up, let's let's up the bag a little bit. Yeah. Uh-huh. L- lunch with Jay Z or two hundred and fifty k. Cash. Okay, bro, I don't even eat like no, that. No, man. I don't. <laughs> it's been plenty of lunch. days you didn't yeah, eat, right? Bro, right, bro. I'll be starving, nigga. I'll, I yeah, get my own lunch with 250K, yeah, right? Yeah. right? Bro, right. <laughs> Looking at Jay and shit, just eating, I mean, eating the shit out of me. I'm like, damn. I watch all his videos on my <laughs> iPad with the 250K. You really Fuck hungry that. right now, Jay? Yeah. Huh? Like, <laughs> so the 250, one. you taking it? I'm taking the 250, but you had lunch with Jay, bro. Like, I what? have. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that interested. He doesn't talk to you. Yeah, like, the, the only thing he said to me was, I'm getting better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a direct quote of when I had lunch with Jay-Z. He said, I'm getting better. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. He proved it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I wasn't at lunch for that information. Right, right exactly. Nigga just commentating on his food like, man, these crab legs. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, you're going to hear that for two hours yeah, and then you're going to get out yeah. and walk out. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. The 250 is a good is a good. Oh, no, no, no. But yeah, I'm definitely taking the 250. That, that, that's an easy one. I ain't even, yo, the, keep it a bean though. When I found out you and Biggs' brothers mm-hmm. said it makes sense because I always see Rory just like running around this motherfucker like every time, every year. I'd be yeah. like, I just see Rory on Serena. No, that's oh, all for him, though. That has yeah, nothing yeah. to do with me. That's, oh, that's yeah, all his yeah. pool. That's all no, his pool. That has pool. nothing to do with like, Maul or they had, they no, had no, 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 no. I've, been, I've been in this game for 20 fucking yeah. years. 20. <laughs> no, 20. I'm just saying like- Being in family, this game is good. <laughs> Shout out to Duce. On some family shit. Like, yeah. I'm just like, damn, y'all probably like, you know, I imagine all- No, but you know the whole Duce Palooza. Right, 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 right. No, no, I'll put it in perspective. Perspective. And I've told the story on the pod. I've, I've told the story on the pod plenty of times. Yeah. One time after Made in America, after we had met, I was yeah. in St. Thomas and I saw Biggs in the airport. Yeah, and I had never met Biggs. Yeah, but Mom had we had a podcast together, and I went up to Biggs and I said, "Hey, I do a podcast with your brother." Yeah, he said. Didn't know my brother had one. <laughs> so no, I've not gotten a wristband what? from Biggs yeah. in my life. <laughs> that's such a great story. Because nah. that's such a big story. Like Damn, I didn't even know he, he's so disconnected at times. Yeah, no, nah, so it'd be like it'd be like oh, this was so early yeah, before. Biggs dropped some fire emojis on my uh on my picture one time or like on my video or some shit like that. The Billy Eilish? No, 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 like way like 2019, some shit like that. I didn't know Big I thought Biggs was like a um, motivational speaker yeah exactly like I didn't know Biggs and Biggs was now. the same person yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I seen all the quotes and shit I'm like I don't know this nigga he be talking that talk like, you would yeah. actually be dope St. John would be dope on that Billy Eilish record he yeah, hey bro great. listen yeah, think we, about we, it. we definitely can set that shit up Saint would be fire on that yeah that yeah. would be hard I don't nah, like nah, well, we might be able to make yeah, something we, happen. We get, we get Saint, we can't get Uzi. You know, they big ops and shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, yeah I feel yeah, what yeah, you're nah, saying. Nah, I'm fucking around, I'm fucking around. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Nah, that's all love, man. That's yeah. all love. That's He's, water said, under the bridge. I said Uzi. He was like, yeah, same time. He took, he took the, the lunch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. That was funny. No yeah. one else is going to get that joke. <laughs> no one else is going to get that it. joke with me. I totally get it. I totally get it. <laughs> so listen, what's next for you, man? Um, Shit, just rolling out, you know, like. We did 40 billion streams for views or whatever. Like this one, you know, fucking this, streams, this one is already at 80 million, million on Spotify and, and what, three months and shit like that. Now it's just Damn. like, bro, like let's, let's one up it. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this shit again. Let's do this shit over and over again. We got an EP to wrap the year yeah. out. And then we just, you know what I mean? Like I've been having my way with this shit, bro. I've been really just having fun with it. Enjoying part, it. You know, just a part of the, like the new regime of Def Jam or whatever. Like, okay. um, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a good joint because I know everybody from CEO down. So I yeah. just, I call, you know what I mean? I, me and Tunji be on the phone talking about Petey like, Crack Tunji. lyrics and shit like that. Good like dude. just random dude, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tunji, my guy. So, so it's, it's always just some fun shit. You know what I mean? I'm just having fun, bro. Okay. <laughs> as, as Def Jam asked you to like play around with other hooks like Miley Cyrus like just trying to throw no, certain no. names oh like, they what? kept they be just putting a list of white yeah, people yeah, yeah, yeah. so who else you gonna make a song about like nah nigga this is yeah, yeah, yeah. what other culture yeah, vulture right, right, do you yeah, want to yeah. highlight <laughs> Hillary Clinton oh no. yeah yeah Hillary Rodham <laughs> right right <laughs> Yo, doing Hillary Rodham would be the- I don't even know who the fuck Hillary Rodham is <laughs> No, bro. <laughs> you get Monica on the intro? No, no. Don't let, let the yo, don't let, let, let the don't A&R. let them box you into that. Yeah, yeah, don't let nah, them box. Nah, nah, please nah. don't let them box you into nah, that. They, don't let they, that happen. They, I, they 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 try and do so they try to even get me to just start making club records and shit like that. It's a, yeah. it's a, I mean, I just I just like at this point, like I said, I'm having my way with it. But I know what I want. I'm not one of them dudes that walked in the building and was like, all right, man, like you know, what you want me to do next? Yeah, like yeah, I, I like I know where I'm taking it. I know exactly what I want to sound like. All that shit. So you was moving independently. Exactly. Full exactly. Force for so a you know, time, so even yeah. with this deal, bro, we had to like, like I was like, <laughs> I was telling Benedict, I'm like, bro, they came up, we they came up before Billy Eilish dropped. It was like, yo, we want to do the deal. I'm like, all right, fifty fifty. They said, oh, yeah. I don't know about all that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so I, said, I said, that's cool. I dropped the song. They said, hey, brother, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. fifty fifty, right? That's we'll make saying. it work. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can make I, something. I love some things a good around. label. Right, right. We'll make it work. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of so, here. So yeah, so we we you know we. <laughs> We can make now. You can right, make right, it work. Right, right, right. Now yeah. that the streams so is going crazy, shit, work. Yeah. We made like, that shit on, work man. for sure. Like I put, you know, I put my nuts on the table. Bro. Right. Yeah, man. That's that shit worked out. I worked out. Well, we're gonna get them all to do to do the TikTok challenge. <laughs> Listen, we're man. Get I'm them not, to do I, it. I, yo, do the car. I do a well, summer solo. I'm gonna be out for two <laughs> weeks, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I can't. That's do how no we can sell the new hoodie merch. Yeah, we'll just do have a bunch of people doing summer. Bro, real right. That's a that's a good mad summer. That's a good job. That's a good job. That's a good job. Just me doing summer Niggas trying to peer pressure you. Like, yo, we post. Like, I'm supposed to be like, nah, I'm gonna do it. Nah, fam. Damn, bro, you got a point. Like, I see it now. I see it. Me doing summer solo to sell hoodies is crazy. It's art. I know. That's art. <laughs> it's not a bad idea though. Just let me let, show me. Damaris gonna have to show me some more of the TikToks. I gotta kind of look at this thing, bro. If you do a somersault, <laughs> and what, I'll try. What, what, how, how the shit goes is you do a somersault, you come out like as a different version of yourself. Yeah. If you do a somersault and then come out as me. Yeah, bro. We selling hoodies. Bro. Yeah, Armani. Bro. Like, yo, we selling yo, hoodies. Yo, Armani, these bro. ideas not free. These ideas not free, bro. Like, these ideas not free. <laughs> Real rap. They got to pay for this. Yeah, like, these ideas not free, bro. Like, listen. No, we're going to think of some cool I'm shit to do, I'm expecting that TikTok. No, we, no, we just did, though. No, we just it, thought of some cool y'all shit. Y'all got 72 hours. That's the bro. idea. <laughs> no, but Damaris showed me one. It looked cool, but I don't know how we could pull that off. It looked cool though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I hurt myself when I did that shit. Like I, yeah, like see, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm nah, not I do it. But like, you know what I'm saying, nah, like, I do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Marty, you're not like, selling this. Definitely nah, do, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like try it out. But like, just you know, it might get a little crazy in the process to try and get that shit. I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at some more of the TikToks. I'm gonna look some and more. And the fact that that dance got it, to bro. 40 billion streams. You a little limber, like you. I mean, you got a little pause. I know we friends, but Jesus Christ. How you, hey, stop looking at my limbs. Right. Nah, <laughs> nah, he's on the Lulu pants. You saw the yoga pants. You, you, you see the cast. Hey, you came in with skinny legs on, bro. You could do that shit. <laughs> you got it, bro. Hey, oh man, the do say is kicking in. Yeah. <laughs> Real rap, man. Uh, man. All right. So, what's, <laughs> you have anything to announce? <laughs> Anything that you'd like he to announce? He announced it. He, got, he has a project coming into the year to wrap it out. He's at 80 million uh, streams on Spotify. Bro, I can't do this. 40 more, million views more on streams TikTok. streams than human beings. Yeah. It's more streams <laughs> than, than human, human beings. beings. <laughs> He's, Armani is killing shit out here right now, man. Look, this is wild. Bro. Who are you, look, who you looking forward to seeing um, out here today? If, if you're staying around. I don't even know if you're staying. By Barney. Bro. <laughs> By Barney. Bad yeah, so yeah, that nigga. What, no, Eden is a bad. He's, yeah, yeah. He's a bad rabbit. He's not yeah, a bad Nah, yeah. I, I heard you was out there when he's kissing niggas in the mouth with some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, no! <laugh
should be me. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah. Eden's one of those nice people that fronts be like, I mean, as long as he's happy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what he sees in that guy. Yeah, like, <laughs> yo, like, I mean, hey, I like him so much that yeah, right, that yeah, works yeah, for yeah, him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I can't do this with Armani. Yeah. Now we having too much fun here. Yo, listen, man, it's Armani White. Thank you for coming, yeah, yeah, bro. bro. <laughs> Good luck with you. We're gonna listen out for the next project, man. Appreciate, appreciate you, you coming through, man. I fuck with this dude right here. My guys. <laughs> so we just walked back over here from uh, watching this artist set, and I, I had to tweet. I was standing next to Julian when you first went on, and I said, yo, Jid is a superstar. Just the energy from where we was at, incredible, incredible. So we want to, first of all, salute you on just continuing to elevate every time we see you, every time yeah. we hear from you. We already... You know how we feel about you. Yeah, you right. one of those. You one of those ones in our in our in our culture that's just a superstar. So anytime we see you, we got to show you love. We got to give you respect. And being out there with the fans, the energy was crazy. Yeah. I'm gonna say this with festivals, people that can actually rap, it'd be tough to get a crowd to go fucking crazy. Yeah, that's a fact. it's very yeah. difficult. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how has that changed your performance at all? Uh. Because you like really moving around, but actually saying every fucking word. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like the fans just adapted to like what I do, kind of, because mm -hmm. they find that little word that I'm not saying too fast. Yeah, or, right. And they say, ah, they don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me, Which is the hardest part. I'm like, oh, y'all really trying to learn this shit. Exactly. So if anybody letting you take up their mental space, it's important. Absolutely. So yeah. Did I'll that even that. change like how you made the joints on this album? Because even when I was watching your performance, it's so many certain parts now. I feel like in the the newer music that is the rapidy shit and then it's a break right to have somebody be able to say something back yes, to you bro. like a uh, call in demand type of shit mm -hmm. yeah did that change when making the album it was like fuck i gotta remember i'm getting booked for festivals now right. it's yeah. not do you, no do you, like do you create with that in mind like what the, the crowd is gonna get um so with the second project the caprio 2 which was way more energetic and stuff yeah. i was on that that's okay. why most of the songs i performed today were from that, that project I yep. didn't really get into this one Because this one is more personal I right, just had okay. to get this one off Right I wasn't really thinking about Nobody The label mm -hmm. Anybody I hated everything But my family at that moment So But I, when you did On stage It was funny Because we was on the side And we yeah. was looking And they told you You had four minutes left Cat me down And then you jumped What I knew wanted to be You wanted it to be the Your end set Yeah You yeah. went right into stick But yeah. you went into the Into the fucking audience yeah. Climbed the light pole <laughs> And then when you came back, they was like, now you got like 15 minutes left. You Yo. was like, and we saw their face like, what? That was supposed to be the... <laughs> it, it confused I'm me. I'm getting ready to walk off and dap niggas. Up. Right. <laughs> right. It, it confused me because we thought six o'clock he was done. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I was chilling and then I saw four minutes. I was like, fuck, I get back to, to the trailer to yeah. set up for this so, interview. Yeah. yeah. And it's at like 5.30. Yeah. I'm like... They say it was it was twenty minutes, and I was <laughs> like, me good. "When I saw you going to the crowd, I said he's gonna be pissed that that wasn't it." Yeah, it's it, it's like it shows. But you went right. Into, you went into the the, the the right record next. Though. Yeah, it you worked. went into the right. Yeah, it worked. It, it worked. worked. It did. Me, me and Benner walked leaving, and her stick was like, "Oh yeah, it's about to explode this entire fucking spot." I thought no. it was gonna leave too. I was like, "Oh okay, they got no they, fans yeah. was fainting. I don't know if you saw it. They had to pull people out of the Damn. out of the pit. No, it's it's superstar shit now. Like yeah. that's your last year on that stage. Let's just say that. Yeah, you will not be on that stage anymore. Sure. It's over for that shit. Yeah. Uh, that shit felt good, bro. It did. It looked good. Yeah. With this album, this album is it's funny you brought that up, uh, that this one was more family shit, more that. I feel like the last three projects, including the, the Dreamville joint, mm -hmm. all you've been trying to do is show everyone I rap better than you. Let me get the hardest drums. Mm -hmm. I'm not pissed off, but I'm better than you, so let me prove that. You know mm -hmm. what it is? I kind of, I mean, I didn't mean to cut you. Oh, no, go ahead. I kind of planned it like, you know how you write an essay? Mm -hmm. Your your opening lines, the open paragraph is an attention grabber. Right. Yeah. For the past few years, it's been my attention grabber. Okay. Mm. This album is getting into the essay. The the, 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 the meter, three paragraphs in front of yeah. yeah. And okay. I feel like I planned it like that because I wanted to know, like, I could rap better than you. And mm -hmm. then niggas start singing and shit. Niggas start trying to mm -hmm. really construct songs and yeah. bodies of work. So. Doing act 16s, 32 the most. Yeah. Like, you feel me? It exactly. took you, and I felt like you took a lot of time off. Is that because you were trying to get out of rapper competition mode and, and fully get into that? You got to unlearn. You got to really be like, I like a that. man unlearn. in this shit. Unlearn, like bro. It's just, this whole process from me not from me dropping not I dropped my last soul, solo single project was 2018. Mm -hmm. and then of course we toured 2019. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Revenge 2020. Mm -hmm. We did some spilligion shit. Mm -hmm. 21. That's when I was really honing in on the album, and then we dropped this year. So. 
it was just really those moments of like, all right, I gotta be a better artist. Like, you can rap, you can freestyle all day. Like, right. that's even part of the reason I didn't start off the project with like, oh, dude, freestyle, and then yeah. go drop the album. Mm-hmm. Like, let me wait this out. I got a crazy freestyle prepared. Mm-hmm. And yeah, bro, just trying to be better, man, as mm-hmm. a man, like, stepping, nigga, I'm, I just stepped into 30, so mm-hmm. it's like a whole different mindset, Same. bro. Right. Yeah. yeah. Shit is way different. Yes, sir. Um, Who are some of the yeah. artists that you've ever DM'd that never responded, that never got <laughs> back to you that you wanted to work with? Um, SZA. Mm, okay. That would be fire. I, I got messages from 2016. I said, SZA, like, hey, man, we're going to be there. She never responded? <laughs> she probably just never seen it because I got messages, I'm sure. Yeah, and the request, and the request. And we Scorpio, yeah. so I feel like when we meet, it's going to be on divine timing. It's going to be organic, yeah. Um, I'm a Taurus. I don't reply to DMs. So I'm going to say that next time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just when I was born, like, I'm I can't a do it. I don't even look at requests. <laughs> and just says, just because I just wanted to tap in because she cool as hell. I yeah. just think she's a cool person. I just think your whole persona, whatever it is, cool. Mm-hmm. And you a Scorpio, so we might think alike. Mm-hmm. Um, and then vocally, what you can do, and then I, I just I, I hear it. I see, the, I see the mix. I see. The it's mix. funny that you said SZA first. I just from outside looking as a fan, I do feel like there's a friendly yet not really friendly tension between TDE and Dreamville. Yeah, in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's beautiful. But I feel like mm-hmm. y'all. Yeah, it's love, but yeah. it's like we're better than y'all. It, in some direction, yeah, it, it could be come from either sides. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I need my own Dreamville, so right. <laughs> I feel them. <laughs> What's up with the Earth Gang? Earth Gang is amazing. They about to go on tour with Gorillas, bro. Wow, yeah, Crazy. they, they went on tour with Gorillas. They oh, dropped so that a means beautiful no Spillage Village new album. We, anytime soon. we working on some stuff. We working on some stuff. So I think we're gonna get something out, but no, not for twenty. Okay, twenty two. No, okay. not sure. It's twenty twenty two, y'all. Right. It's about to be twenty twenty three. The yeah. summer's over. September. 2022. How y'all feel about that? <laughs> I just I mean, turned my energy. Life, life is I mean, it's, into the 30s. Shit become a blur. Ooh. It's, um, Ooh. this it year has been this, unlearning. That's why I like that word. I think yeah. this year you had to unlearn some shit. Yeah. This was a year of unlearning. I think last year we learned a lot about ourselves. I what love we it. can tolerate and put up with, how we can adjust with the whole pandemic shit. Yeah. And I think this year we had to unlearn a lot of shit. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to 23. And, and figuring sure. out what you still fucking like. That was yeah. a nice part of the pandemic because yeah. we were doing so much stuff we had to do. Now it's like, all right, Damn. it stripped a bunch of shit that I didn't need to do, like even walking into a fucking office or right. really keeping up with certain people I don't need to. Now right. it's trying to figure out what mattered and what What's didn't at that time. Type shit. That's yeah. hard. Yeah, that's hard. Um, I went to your listening, which was phenomenal, by my the way. Dog, my dog. Um, and I love the like the art gallery type shit you guys did downstairs. Yeah. One of my favorite album covers of the year. Yeah. Have you fully explained what that meant? Because you did it the, the album listening, and I yeah. thought the the entire thing was beautiful. So, yeah. can you explain what that album represents and what it is, and and down to your entire family within yeah, every bro. image from that project? It just it, it came from it's a sequel. I always do sequel projects, so this mm. is a sequel to the Never Story. Yeah. Um, and basically, it I wanted to bring those images from the initial cover to life um it was almost like a where's wardo feel but you in the hood for sure and it's a whole yeah. lot of black trauma going on it's, it's positive things you got football players here you got yeah. a mother braiding her daughter's hair but you got a body bag mm-hmm. and you got all these different scenarios that we go through as people it don't even got to be black trauma like, it's all. all type of trauma and right. everybody goes through so so at the same time it's me trying to bring that to the light and then i'm in the initial album cover, I'm kind of like to the right, kind of outside of it. In this one, in, I'm like in dead the in, this, in the middle of it. Yeah. Just like, yeah, I it's, came back it's to the where's city. Where's trauma? Yeah, and it's where it's at, <laughs> right in the middle, right, in the middle. <laughs> right exactly. here. Exactly. So we um we brought that to life, and just a lot of my family members on there, cousins, brothers, sisters, yeah. just mm. placed in here strategically to explain. And you know what's crazy? Album covers. I, I heard they can get Grammys now. I didn't know that. I didn't check, know that. Check me on that. Check me on that. If wow. that's true, that's, that's amazing. That's, that needs to be in there, though, it, for real. Yeah. Why wouldn't it? I think that's another it's piece of art. Yeah, Artists deserve yeah. that. Absolutely. The artists that work hard on these that's albums. Why that, to me, that's like, wow. The fact that they would make that. Yeah, so I believe. That's, that's, yeah. that's crazy. I believe that might have been intentional. Because, <laughs> I mean, us going so down, hard with down to all the Grammy shit that people don't televise, like down to the writing credits and all mm-hmm. that shit. Yeah, that should definitely be there. Like, yes. That's album cover and it's art. And that needs to be broken down into every genre as well, not just... Let's just give it to Taylor Swift because yeah. shit is in Starbucks. But Facts. I, I was hope, that, I hope to, that's done properly. <laughs> I was talking to Guru backstage. He was watching you perform. Ah, dog. He here? And, um, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I need he, to was watching, he was watching your set. And um, I was telling him, I was like, yo, I, I was listening to Jed's album on the way here from L.A. I just had it on, fell asleep, I, but I could still hear it. Yeah. And I was like, just the sound of the album, it just sounds so good. Like, I had Vince Staples album mm-hmm. it's probably one of my favorite but this oh. Jit album is right there for me yeah. already 
Yeah, appreciate that, brother. And and sonically, because I, I feel like you would have the opportunities now to get in the rooms with all your favorite producers growing up, and that it still felt like the internal JID crew. Yeah, like it, it didn't feel like all right, I finally kind of got my status out there. Yeah, let me do the Timberland for real. Let me just hit yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. that I could. Mm -hmm. Is that something you eventually want to do, or want to stay away from it? I want it to happen organically. Yeah, you feel me? I, I got my guy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Drake got 40. Who's that? Your DJ He's, too, right? Cri yes, yeah. Cristo. He's an amazing composer. Mm -hmm. I tapped in with all the hit boy. Metro Boom is my mm -hmm. brother. Shout mm -hmm. out to my dog. Yeah. Um, Boy Wonder. I tapped in with Pharrell. Mm -hmm. I tapped in with Timberland mm -hmm. for this. But for what we were trying to do, the sequel, we had to keep some of the me. essence yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I tapped in with James Blake. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I Literally, the beat that's on the album, I don't yeah. know if you want me to say this. Sorry, James. I love you. He, uh... The only person he sent that beat to was under 3,000. He's like, that's the only person I think you can do it. And mm. then he sent me the beat. I was like, oh, this is perfect. Let me get Thundercat on here. Let's mm. let's, let's mesh it up. Let's right. get crazy. And right. Lord of Tooth, it's the last song for now because we can this uh, last song clear or whatever. But that, if you listen to the James Blake production, it's yeah. electric groovy and then you hear James, just mm -hmm. Thundercat come in mm -hmm. fucking, oh my gosh, it's like mm. one of the greatest pieces of how, how did the James Blake involved in. Mm. How did James Blake connection come together oh when I'm, i saw that track list because I'm, I'm a james blake fan yeah. and when his album dropped i was like shit not that i was surprised but it was still yeah. like I'm, it was a little it was like it was, okay yeah, he didn't expect a james but blake. i could see james wanting to go that yeah. route oh as james far as is rap a, features go. james an ally brother mm -hmm. when 2020 was happening and i was telling him, i was like bro where rashad brooks got killed at this what's name like i mm -hmm. stayed right there they marched right outside my crib talking about james was so mad at the world with me we mm -hmm. on the phone talking for hours just about what's going on with us over here and he's trying to wrap his mind around it and i'm telling him in the most crazy ways bro mm -hmm. like i'm trying to explain how it is in atlanta being from atlanta being from the south being mm -hmm. whatever and he's furious with me and i'm like wow mm -hmm. you are more than music bro you, right, you are man. a whole essence right you're a unicorn in this shit because you mm -hmm. really give a fuck about real matters and we didn't even mm -hmm. start doing music yet yeah mm -hmm. we, by the time we started getting into music it was like that you yeah, still be in ready. New York as much as you used to yeah I'm I'm coming back for fashion week okay okay yeah, fashion week I'll be up. there so let's tap in yeah, that actually, that actually be shit, better because I'll be here. there for like 3-4 days okay that's fine so yeah, we'll do that then well you, listen Jay I you be in New York I don't think people know no he be in New York I be on a block that's why I got my bars from he be in New York I got my bars from New York I was walking I was walking down Ludlow Dude, that's my boy that's, he be keeping my boy one day I was walking down Ludlow shout out BX Life bro in the summertime right it's Ludlow in the summertime oh, somebody yeah. with a whole mask and dreads come <laughs> run down on me I'm like what the fuck <laughs> yeah pulls the mask down his jid I'm like <laughs> like what you doing on Ludlow bro what you doing <laughs> on Ludlow in and out those spots <laughs> right I remember that yeah, yeah bro you was doing yeah. I was like what the fuck <laughs> that's funny yeah, uh, bro but yeah we'll definitely get up thank you uh, for Thank taking time, especially after performance, I know that shit is a lot. So oh, yeah, yeah I want to go get some artists too. Yeah, definitely get some of this do say for sure. Before we slide, yes sir. Let's do it. JID, thank you, man. Appreciate y'all, man. All right, we back, man. Uh, listen, I'm we, the the bad thing about this Rory is that being here doing these artist interviews, we missed the performances. That yeah. and fresh off the stage, we got my guy Larry June with us, man. Who who I want to do a man. full full episode with yeah, one no, day. This, this is, was this, this was on the list. Something, yeah, we had you on the list of of, of dudes we want to see. We go do that. Numbers, baby. Yeah, we got to do that. Absolutely. Saga to me. So we're here with Larry June, the Bay's finest. How you doing, man? How was the, how was the, uh, the performance? Man, I'm doing good today. You know what I'm saying? It was great. Good energy. Very professional. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You know, we on uh, Duce. Ace of sure. Spades. Gotta have hey, Duce. Gotta hey, have man, Duce. I can't complain, man. We did numbers. It was a great crowd. Right. We rocked it, and we was in and out like fast food. You know what, what I'm uh, about? What joint from the new album went off the most? Shit, man. For me personally, I'll tell you my favorite. Okay. So my favorite, you know what I'm saying? When I wake when I'm waking up in the morning, I'm putting that shit on, brushing my teeth. I saw some uh, another day part two. Okay. Real okay. smooth player shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about bringing nigga back into them times. Mm -hmm. If I'm feeling real smooth and I wanna, you know, holler at my lady, get her some roses and something. Okay. I'll toss on that things you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay. feeling real Mackish. Okay. okay. Don't check me, man. Check that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Is that Numbers. how you put uh, projects together? Just huh? certain is that how you put projects together you in know, certain me, records? Man, you know, I, I got I'm I'm a human. You know, I got different different mm -hmm. ways I feel at certain times. You know, yeah. I, I might, you know, I might feel like, you know, you know, I'm feeling lovey today. Right. Yeah. You right. know, I, I might right. feel I might be feeling like a Mac now. <laughs> right. I might be feeling like I want to slap the fuck out of nigga, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I might be want to sip some motherfucking orange juice. Right, but you mm. know, what I'm talking about that's how I feel. We don't we don't put no filters on this motherfucker. We get in the booth because I know you're a big car guy, favorite car. Yeah, ever. You know, when it comes to cars, man, this it's about how I feel that day. Mm -hmm. I might wake up in the morning and feel like I want to slide in that old school, so I might jump in that Grand Nash, turn the AC mm -hmm. on, and slide up the 
the uh, Ocean Beach, grab mm-hmm. me a hot tea or some shit. Mm-hmm. Or I might be feeling like I want to really get real Gran Turismo. I might hop into GT Porsche, GT3 mm-hmm. Porsche. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And Ben some Conas. Or I might just feel like a dad yeah, hopping yeah. that Ben Tager. You know what I'm saying? So uh-huh. when it, when it, when it comes to cars, it's about how I feel. Like, you know, my cars really influence my music a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I jump in my, my vet. Mm. If I jump into my 87 vet right now with the orange guts, I'm going to wanna, I'm gonna go get into my real 80s bag. Okay. Mm. I'm finna get real groovy. You know what okay. I'm saying? Sock it to me. Yeah, baby. I'm, <laughs> I don't, when, I, when I get in that motherfucker, I'm only playing Prince. Yeah. Okay. I'm only playing, you know what I'm saying? Only the good 80s yeah. smooth yeah. shit. I don't, if, Classics. If, it come, if, if, if my shit come on, got to go. Right. So, Anything got to go. Yeah. So the car, what's the, the car on the cover now? That's my, on that car, I put the GT3. That's yeah. my Porsche. I love Porsche because, you know, Porsche got a lot of longevity. I can keep that car for forever yeah. as long as it'll be a classic. So you think it, it fit the album? Yeah, so I, I put the Porsche in the Bentley, the Bentley GT. Mm. I put my GT, the um, the GT Speed, the fucking sports car, two-door. I put those two on there because it, it brought out both sides of me, where it's like this album is more like I'm turned up and I'm on my speed shit, but I'm mm, also okay. smooth. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I put... Both of them on there. But Talk that shit. Yeah, Talk you know that shit. Mean? That's why I want to sit. That's why we got to really sit down with Larry. Yeah, because right. he's one of those. He he shit talking. He mm-hmm. he's sipping his juice, talking shit. But it's all one hundred. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever. I, I ain't uh, I ain't writing this shit down. I'm I'm gonna tell niggas exactly how I feel right two, now. Two car questions. How many yeah. points are on your license? Are you a Geico guy? What what type of insurance are we <laughs> we going through? Come on, man. <laughs> Man, you know, at the nine, you know what I'm saying? I stay on 10, so I don't got there any parking uh, speeding tickets. I got one speeding like ticket, and I wasn't driving mine. Okay. I was driving a bitch car up to the fucking Camaro on my way to L.A. to get a chain, and I got a, a speeding ticket just because I didn't really know how to. The windows in that car was a little different. Mm. Only speeding ticket I ever had in my life. Wow. I'm sliding shit, Rory, I'm sliding all the shit. I'm hitting 130, <laughs> but I pay attention. <laughs> yeah. I, I pay attention, though. I do it for a certain amount of time. Niggas be speeding too long. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can, you can speed, yeah. but don't speed for... Two minutes straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got to be able to watch your surroundings. And you got to let the one nigga pass you that yeah. speed and it kind of tell oh, yeah. you. Hey, like, come on, man. Yeah. Keep going, I'm fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see the wrist. I know yeah. you ain't playing no game. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, come on. No, yeah, no, no. That nigga no, no. pay attention. Yeah. Numbers. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Look. Absolutely. I know. You got to watch out because I ain't trying to get pulled over. No. I don't want to, no. like, I like the sound. That's why I drive fast at, like, 5 and 30 yeah. in the morning when the sun is coming up. I go down. I'm sliding. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got fun at those hours. I'm, yeah. pulled, I'm been in Conas, you know what I'm talking about? But, yeah. like, on, on a regular day, no, nah, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm driving We ain't slow. in the rush. We ain't in the yeah. rush. You see me? You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you see me, man. Like, I'm about to start talking yeah. my shit. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get in the don't do that. I'm don't trying to say, yeah, it's kicking with you. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't even like I'm that you compliment him right now because now you're going to have him back. I don't want to see that type of shit. Hey, come on, man. We And we go do numbers, man. We just keeping it real. I'm a regular nigga like everybody else. The cars just got faster. Nah, I feel you. That's my type of talk. Yo, so who's some of the artists out here that you looking forward to seeing perform live? And oh, are you, you know a live what? show guy? Do you go to shows a lot? Do you- hey, I don't go to a lot of shows. My son want to see Tyler the Creator. Hella Fire. bad. Yeah. Fire. You know what I'm saying? I know his set going to be crazy. For so sure. I'm, I'm going to come back and come see Tyler the Creator with my son. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, be here. He excited for it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Good job, Tyler. Real artists. Numbers. Real artists. Real artists. Yeah. And I, I love how um, his shows put together. Real, He put a lot of energy into his shows. And just a good shows. dude. Yeah, good. It's my Real- first time actually seeing him. I'm, I'm excited, though. Okay. It should be fun. Uh, speaking of other artists, are you familiar with the group Emotional Oranges? And are you aware of the beef between your fan base and theirs about the orange emoji? No, I never heard of the beef. Heard of them, no. Okay. It's only one Uncle Larry. <laughs> Numbers, <baby. laughs> Because the, the fan base of Emotional Oranges yeah, and the see, Larry me, fan one, base one have been in a versus emoji, battle. Well, well, Who well, can put well, more well, orange how about emojis? Let's, let's cut this now. I'm not an orange nigga. I just, I just stay healthy. You see the shirt? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I do. I'm, I'm a nigga from the hood. I came outside. I'm pretty sure we came from completely different backgrounds. Mm-hmm. Nigga from the hood. You know what I'm talking about? And I switched my lifestyle and the orange civilized me staying healthy on the mm-hmm. punk bitch. I like and that. And that is what it is. It's not, it's not, I don't, you know, like, yeah. I go to my house. It might be hella mangoes in my motherfucking yeah. refrigerator. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Just keep it calm. So much love to emo- emotional oranges. It's yes. all love. I didn't even know it was a beef. Maybe I don't be on Twitter. It's not a, it's not a real it's beef. It's not a real beef. It's not a beef. It's just over the emoji use. Who can put more orange emojis in a comment? Hey, they can have it. Oh, no. They can have it. They, they fuck with you heavy Keep yeah. the orange yeah. <laughs> it's, it's you I fuck with them Have though. them in my fridge My civilization behind the orange Was com- com- completely different It was more about me Honestly you wanna know Why I kept orange on me So when I was um When I was working my game I had a different lifestyle I don't mm. like to get in- in- in Deeper yeah, yeah, to yeah. that If yeah. you know you know You know what I'm mm. talking about But I-, I used to get anxiety Going through TSA at the airport Okay mm. 
and uh, an orange, I, I needed like some kind of liquid. You ever get anxiety where you feel like, yeah, I need some water? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 feel yeah. like you know, I'm, I'm yeah. a regular nigga, like yeah, yeah. it is what it is. So, I feel the orange made me feel a little comfort when I was going through okay. the TSA, like a really, stress ball. Yeah, like a stress ball, and particularly I was going through Canada, and I got I just needed to have an orange, and the nigga came with my my I got to my nigga crib. He like, man, Larry, why y'all got an orange with you? And I told him the story, and I and I know this always had it. I had bad anxiety at a point in my mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. overcame it. You know, what I'm saying anything is possible, and I'm 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 doing good now, and I'm doing numbers. That's why I promote the peaceful shit so yeah. much. Where yeah, taking walks, taking jogs. Yeah. And, and keep your mind at peace that's because like that. it is yeah. what it is. It's kind no, of weird. No, but it's no, all, no, that's no, a beautiful no explanation. That but like I told you, it is what it is. So that's where the orange came apart. And then niggas, I didn't ask for the orange to be my yeah, shit. The people right. did. <laughs> right. I didn't say, hey, I'm going to go yeah. get an orange and here it is. But no, the mm. people see me. I'm at shows. And I start asking myself, damn, I do have this orange. Yeah. Right. I'll leave the crib and I just have one. I'm like, some days I didn't even eat the motherfucker. But that's that's yeah. the beauty of your fan base. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. They will create the branding on orange watches and shit. Fire. Yeah. You feel me? That's for the people, man. Y'all made me like these motherfuckers. Don't ask me about no, no motherfucking orange like beef. It. And, and now that I, and <laughs> emoji now that I, beef is crazy. Yeah, no, nah, the emoji beef is wild. And now that I know the the the, the meaning behind yeah, it, yeah, that's dope. It's, it's super. It's fire. real. It, it is what it is. Like I'm, I'm always keeping one hundred, man. Mm -hmm. It might not be the most brightest shit to the motherfucker. or no rocket makes science. Yeah. No, it makes sense. But it is what it is. Like when you, it, it was a point of time where I wouldn't. I wasn't living how I wanted to live, and I didn't really feel good about it, and it gave me anxiety. Mm -hmm. And the orange made me feel better, man. So good old, right. good job, orange. I Number. think uh, outside of doing a full episode, we have to find like a racetrack. There's the Porsche shit in Atlanta that we could do. We got to do. We have to race. Mo, you got a, a valid license? No. All right, we gotta get you more don't want valid, a valid license. We gotta get more valid yeah, license. Oh. You no know, real niggas drive a bunch of. You're right. You're right. I got. Right, well, then we have to find a side street to race in. No, maybe we could. No, we, we can't need go to, to the actual track. We need to do that. By the no, time we saying. sit down and shoot, I'm gonna get the, the valid license. Let's get the license. I'm gonna get the license. Man. Man. Let's go to a real track and race. Let's go to the track. I'm gonna pull this shit out. I'm not a racer. I drive fast. You know, I came from the D boy area, nigga. You gotta get the niggas off you. I don't see niggas pull up in four four tools. It wasn't even me particularly. I didn't see the OGs come through high speed chases and four four tools. Yeah. Yeah. Supers, yeah, Listen. supercharged 5.0s. Mm, yeah. yeah. So when I Smoking grew up like nigga, I need to have right. the fastest shit. I don't give a fuck if it's a truck or a car. Give me the fast kind. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, all it is. I, I like that concept. Yeah. We're gonna no, go to track. We're gonna definitely sit down with Larry. If we, if we gotta go yeah. to the bay and shoot some shit, we're gonna definitely do some super Yo, cool shit. Yeah, I feel like the car show aspect of just music, hip hop period is gone. Like Flex used to do his car show all the time. I feel like that was more Envy, of a thing no, now. Envy, DJ Envy still, Envy still has his car show. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you gotta do something around. Nobody got more cars than currency. No, that's a fact. Okay. Currency fact. got extra cars. Yeah, that's mm. a fact. I, don't know, I, I, get, I get to New Orleans, niggas get, hey, dry this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm in a low rider. I'm sliding. I'm like, yeah. I don't even know how to dry this. I don't do low no rider. I'm a, yeah, yeah. I'm a 5.0 muscle car kind of nigga. Yeah. I'm sliding. Classic. I'm in a motherfucker. I don't know what I'm in, but I'm sliding in that motherfucker. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think, I think currency should do a car show. Yeah, that would be hot. Because he, the, you know what I'm saying? That nigga to go to shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? He, yeah. pull, he got all kind of shit. He got shit in the cut. Probably Shout warehouse. The that's the guy. I think the, God, the younger sure. generation needs their car show. For sure. I yeah. mean, who, who, who would you think? That's and the younger think. generation. Yeah, currency would definitely be up there. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't I even feel know like, who, like who's the car dude the anymore? Yeah, ain't nobody. I don't know. Currency the car nigga. Like I like car. I like cars that came from my like, you know, my pops had a hell of cars growing up and shit. Like I mm. I looked up the pops when I was young. He had all kind of five point Toyotas, Toyota yeah. Supers, mm -hmm. Fofo tools, to mm -hmm. all kind of shit. So it was, you know what I'm saying? I kinda was inspired by that whole shit and then seeing niggas coming through the hood and grand nashes and yep. like, you know, I, I was inspired. I was right there in the flesh. So but when it comes to these these car shows, like currency gotta come with a car show. Cause nobody fuck with currency when it comes yeah. to currency. But see, that's how we find I, out I about say the cars that, now. Cause he got more cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got extra shit. Well, he got he got extra shit. He, he got host like, post all this shit. Yeah. Everybody else bring two cars. Currency yeah. can host the shit, and we find out who the young kids that have the cars now. Cause I wouldn't even know, which and, is crazy. Cause you feel like nigga, Instagram, you would know yeah. who was the car dude at this. Yeah, point. and a nigga like me, I got certain car. I got certain cars I keep. Some cars I get rid of and update. I live in San Francisco. Yeah, so like I don't got like a massive parking garage or no shit. I got like my keep my old school so i got a parking garage like 20 miles out yeah you know what i'm mm -hmm. talking about but like i get rid of shit like my, my i had my 63 gt bins got rid of that and i jumped in the bentley you What's, know i said i get rid of shit and i lease certain cars okay because i you know tax yeah. purposes you know, yeah I'm sure a, yeah. I do, money gotta move it is what it is like, and you, some cars just I don't keep, appreciate I keep, well like i keep all my rory's i keep all my <laughs> porsche and shit <laughs> like that but some shit but currency keeping everything he keep every yeah.
for me, man, you know, I, mm, I love waking up early, right? Mm. Give me some hot tea, maybe an Earl Grey, something to like start it. in the morning up. And I drive. <laughs> I'm a lemon through, ginger guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, but Larry, good job, Earl. Earl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna slide through. I'm gonna slide the sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna slide the sauce to You know what okay. I'm saying? I might have one of my, you know, lady friends with me. You know, okay. heated seats. You know For what I'm sure. talking about? Yeah. And I've been a cone, and I'm peaceful with it. I'm, I'm only playing like smooth shit. Mm -hmm. Lately, it's been Slum Village. I might toss on some Donnell Jones. Okay. Some music soul. Nothing child. too aggressive. Yeah. Nothing yeah. too aggressive. Yeah. You know, can't I'm do not, that with the T. I'm not shit. trying to knock a nigga yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not even trying to kill no. I don't want no I'm just trying to slide through smooth. Right. Make sure my shoes clean. Y'all know it might sound right. a little, you know, oh, Larry doing the extra. That's nah, really how I live, shit, nigga. Yeah. This is not no motherfucking lie. Right. Nigga, when you see Uncle Larry, you see how I'm coming. These are motherfucking anniversary joints. I put that shit on there. This is my first time putting them on. Okay. So I'm going to call these my motherfucking the Made in America bus downs. <laughs> Numbers, nigga. Good job, Larry. <laughs> Straight up. This this that's, the, that's, shit. That's, that's the cut right there. <laughs> Yo, before we let yeah. you go, real quick question. Because we just got to ask. Lunch with Jay-Z or... 200k cash shit 200k easy yeah. i got that i go get that in the morning so i might have lunch with jay-z i almost turned down 200k three days ago me personally so you know it's different it's different it's different strokes for different folks right you know yeah. somebody, i, I ain't flat. flexing i was just broke five years ago right mm. right right but as if today right you can it's do the about, lunch with jay. it's about building yeah. relationships yeah with certain people he might not do nothing for me i don't i'm not asking for a right. handout right but it'd be more of an experience again 200k i can go that's 200 it's 2022 200k that's like what is was that a a car talk your shit it is I what like it is for, for what, wait, hold on. See, that's yeah. paddock that's, a, that's paddock man. yeah i like it is shit. weird i'm not even flexing i'm not the richest mm. nigga in the world but i know no, i get it i know 200k ain't the same as it was in the 90s shit is inflated it's nigga, not. nigga gas ten dollars in the bay eight dollars in the bay 200 minimum wage that went up 200k differently so maybe yeah. he said two mil give me the two mil i'm going hey yeah. jay i'll see you next time <laughs> It is what it is, but 200K. Jay, hey, Jay, Jay is taking the two mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, nigga, spend 50 in Hawaii on some right. cat off shit. Right. It is what it is. Like, right. not, not to be on, on, in my humblest way, because I'm like right. I say, I'm not flexing like the richest nigga in the world, but mm -hmm. like, good job. You know what I'm saying? Numbers. Yeah. Well, listen, right, man, we definitely going to pull up in the bay and sit down and kick it with you. Like, we have a real peace with you. Yeah. Uh, show us around the town, drive some cars and shit. We want to oh, no, definitely we, driving. We want to thank you for uh, stopping by, kicking with us in this airstream. We had the air on for you. We had to keep it cool in here for Come you, on, man. man. I yeah. appreciate y'all. Y'all kept it all the way 100. Y'all made My it gosh. real comfortable for me, man. Larry June. Man. Thank you, bro. Numbers. One love. Sockets in me. Yeah. Meg Thee Stallion versus photographer versus a catcher. Who was the best in these? I'm going with Mike Piazza. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Mike, Mike over Megan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mike nah, Piazza over Megan. Meg. You going Meg? Y'all seen Meg? I seen Meg, all right, okay. but all right, Jorge, Jorge Posada. Yeah. Posada, I've seen I've seen Mike Piazza catch for 14 innings. That's so true. It's like I never seen Meg catch for 14 innings. What's going on, bro? Not much, man. Just got off the stage. How uh, you feeling? I feel good, man. Yeah. It's my first Made in America. First uh, one? I it's not really my first. I did Made in America in 2017 as a background singer. Okay. Who were you with? Uh Vic Mensa. Okay, shout out to Vic. And you yeah. did his tour as well for the 444. I did. Yes. I did. That was a really, really good tour. Yeah, man. Uh well shit, before we get even into that. The voice is that where everything starts as far as yeah. major steps. Yeah, I think that's the first like major like TV moment mm -hmm. I had. Um, yeah, and just like being in front of that many people, that was the that was the first time. And did you do the whole wait in line American Idol? No type shit. Oh, oh, you no, skip right to the front. I, I skip to the VIP front. credentials. <laughs> I did. I did. Well, what happened was I had auditioned quite a few times. Okay. And I did wait in line one time. Mm. I think I had auditioned like three or four times. Who who um, waited in line with you? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember. There fair. wasn't there wasn't anybody like, you know. I I was kind of there by myself. Yeah. Uh, so I I wasn't. I didn't. Go, a lot of people go as friends, like For with sure. friends and all that shit. I went by myself. So, um, I was just so focused on doing a good job. Mm. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, the Pharrell. I, how how did they word it? As far as you were on Pharrell's team, I forget yes. how the structure of that I, show goes. I was on Pharrell's team. He was my coach. Mm -hmm. That's how they worded it. Was that the one that you were hoping? Yeah, that's who. I mean, that's <laughs> really like why I did the show that season. Who um, were the other judges that uh, that, that season? It was Adam. 
uh, from Maroon Five. Okay. Blake oh, I Shelton. think I'd say Adam Twenty Two. Oh no, it wasn't Adam Twenty Two. He, man, that would be wild. That would have been, been a great, that would have been a great crazy vocal. voice. Oh, oh my god, that would be wild. He could do the SoundCloud yeah, rapper yeah. voice. Yeah, he could. Yo. Oh my, all the Lils. Yeah, the Lils. Yeah, Big body the low the Lils. voice. Yeah, low voice. Yeah, hosted uh, by Adam Twenty Two. <laughs> uh, and I think Gwen Stefani was the the other. Judge. Okay, have you spoken to Pharrell since? Like, have you worked with him? Since? Yeah, man. Uh, Pharrell's been a mentor. He's been very. Uh, a, a very good influence in my life and in mm. my career. Cool. Um, yeah, he was my coach. And then I ended up doing some work for his company, I Am Mother, okay. as a music producer. Um, and so I made a lot of friends there. But P's been in my life for a yeah. minute. Uh, and yeah. Uh, Listen, how do ladies treat you now that you're working with Beyonce? <laughs> I'm going to get right to it. And how are you a Virgo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm a Leo. <laughs> okay. But I'm a Virgo in three of my houses. So I do get okay. along three well. Three of your houses. Yeah. So oh, I'm wow. like. So the ladies are treating you really good. Yeah, they like me right now. Yeah. Um, Wait, hold on. Three. And, let's break this down. It, are you in like a, a a triplet triplet? What's that shit called? Like Where you date three people? No, 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 no. Uh, like no, not probably not You're a thruple. A thruple. <laughs> uh, it, your house is meaning like in your astrological chart. Okay, my grand rising. Yeah, all of that grand, shit. All of that grand, sun rising. Grand lunch. Yeah, 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 brunch. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, three of those are Virgo. Okay. So uh, I I vibe well with Virgo. Mm. Who's yeah. the one artist that you DM that has not responded to you yet? Uh, Jasmine Sullivan. Oh, she's oh, here today. You got to so, no, run down. Run down on jazz. If yeah, you I know. Check, check and, the request. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and we have a bunch of mutuals and like my homies sing background for it. But like I've always, she's incredible. Yo, she's so she's good, incredible. bro. She's, she's so incredible. good. Um, yeah, and Kendrick. But you know, he's I don't not. think he checks his DMs to begin uh, with. Bro, yeah. I don't even know yeah. if Kendrick has his a phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, Kendrick, we could kind of understand. Jazz he got a flip like, phone for sure. But Jazz <laughs> is definitely be like, oh, I didn't even know about the request section. You yeah, know, yeah, that's uh, that whole thing. Yo, like, I didn't know about so it. She's so talented, bro. Oh, no, she's Jasmine so Sullivan is amazing. She deserves number all one of this. vocally for me. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. the greatest. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Um, You'll, you won't be working with Beyonce anymore after that. I'll just let you know that now. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, nah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to all work out. I'm going to get to keep working with everybody. I, listen, I need the work. Give yeah, me the no. work. I, I want, I want I that feel shit. I, I want to work with everybody. Uh, you got a project coming? Yes. Oh, for Daisy. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a labor of love, man. It's uh, it's the first time where I really feel like I'm getting super free mm-hmm. as an artist. I think working with all these great artists that I've worked with over the last two years, man, it's just encouraged me to like make the shit I want to hear yeah. versus trying to make the shit that I think people want to hear. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I feel like if I can connect to it, then I can you know, get an audience to connect to it. What's uh, the significance of that title? Oh, for Daisy. So uh, Daisy's, Daisy is an operating system. Y'all are getting it first uh, that takes takes over my life. Okay. Is she a STEM uh, player? uh, She's not a STEM player. (laughs) Shout out to Kanye, though. Another person who hasn't answered DMs. Uh, Uh, Oh, he's been going on some rants. He's He's going crazy right now. He's been active the last couple of days. I feel like he should see that. Just check your request, my nigga. You just posted, bro. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) So uh, she's an operating system. She's a bad bitch. Like, she, you know, she changes my life, and she's a part of this new sound that I'm building. Uh, Have you seen the movie Her? Yeah. Is uh, it like that? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this is like the prequel. So I'm doing it in order. Mm-hmm. So this one is the prequel. Like people are, you know, figuring out, you know, who she is, what she might be, but it's not quite answering all the questions okay. yet. Um, and then there's another project coming uh, right after that that provides a physical representation of Daisy. So I'm yeah. excited about it. Um, um, I don't know how familiar you are with, with Twitter. Yes, because I feel like a lot of artists, you know, they just post their album and keep it moving. Nah, they don't bro, be, they don't Twitter. be in the Twitter streets. Okay. I'm on Twitter. So are you're, you active? I'm here. I'm okay. In are the you are you Twitter. aware of LLC Twitter? No. Okay. LLC Twitter is the people that try to guide you uh, through all oh your business God, endeavors. The That's where they know. Yes. Yeah. They give you the so, greatest advice. So, yeah. A long time ago, somebody, a, a proud member of LLC Twitter, said they would rather take lunch with Jay Z. Than fifty thousand dollars cash because Jay Z would teach them how to make fifty thousand yeah. dollars cash. Us being logical people said that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. You should take that fifty thousand dollars. I don't even eat lunch. Like I'm just one of those people. I know it's it's you're you're with Rock, so yeah, I don't know if this is the right question. question. Yeah. So maybe we should up up the price. Got to up the ante a little. Let's up it. So lunch with Jay Z or you're publishing. <laughs> 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 Well, <laughs> technically, he has a piece of that. But uh, yeah, uh, 
I don't know, man. You know, I, to get the rare opportunity to sit with Jay, yeah. I have, you know, uh, I, I, he was next to me at the Oscars. Mm. You know, I haven't had that sit down yet. Yeah. So I feel like for me at this point where I am, I would love to sit down with sure. Jay versus, I mean, also, I don't need the 50 bands right now. So, oh, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I can tell by <laughs> yeah. the denim and the, oh, and the boots. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> uh, I don't necessarily need the 50 bands right now. If I needed it, I'm definitely taking the 50 mm. bands. And yeah. if you're uh, starting out, Nigga, take the 50 bands. Absolutely. Like, what are you talking about? Right. Uh, but I am signed to him, and I think he's a wealth of knowledge. Um, and for me, right now in my career, I would love to sit down and talk to Jay. Okay. You get a text from Jay and Pharrell at the exact same time. Okay. Say, I'm in a session. I need you now. You go to Pharrell's studio, or do you go to uh, Jay's? And you can't tell them that, yo, Pharrell just hit me. Yeah. Jay just hit me. You just have to make, you gotta a, decision. make a decision. Which studio do you go to? And then Jay leave the other one on red. Pharrell. It's probably Jay. Okay. Because I think Pharrell would understand why I need to go to Jay. Yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Pharrell got a text one time that said, Jay needs you to pull up and he went and then we got all these beautiful records. Yeah. So I feel like Pharrell, understand. I think Pharrell will understand. Yes, I hope yeah. he would. God, yeah. I hope he would. This is going to be on fucking <laughs> Well, I hope it happens so you can report YouTube back and let now us this know. Man For gonna, sure. He going to block my ass. <laughs> but no, I'm, I think he would understand. I think he For would sure. get it. Well, yeah, man. No, it was, it was good to chop it up for you. I'm looking forward to hearing uh, the project. And yeah, man. This, yeah, this was cool. And let's go uh, see Jasmine perform so we can. Oh yeah, we're yell, definitely besides. We can yell like that. little girls tonight. Also, are y'all going to see Tyler? Oh yeah, oh, for that's sure. another that's, person. That's Pharrell another actually person introduced me to Tyler, which is, but we never got to work, and I'm like itching. I gotta work with Tyler. I, I oh, missed the Madison Square Garden show, so yeah, I have yeah, to, I have to see this. Definitely, show. Yeah, I, I, miss, I, I want to catch the Bad Bunny LA too, show. Though. I missed the LA show, and I was. I want to catch Bad Bunny yeah, too. That's though. gonna be an incredible yeah. show. He puts on. A I want to be like show. far away from the stage for Bad Bunny. Oh, bro, no, just understand. I'm gonna be at the little tent. I'm getting nervous. Little shit is up there. I'm there because I can't mosh whatever. They gonna be in there, but it's just gonna be too much. It's gonna be thick, bro. Too much. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. But man, yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you. Nixon, thank you, man. Thank, thank you for stopping so by much. kicking with us. So fun, appreciate bro. you. Cool. Peace. All right, listen, man. I gotta be honest. I'm disappointed. I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm a lot of things right now because the one artist that I said I was not gonna miss, Rory, because I missed her when we went to LA at the Rock Nation party. Yeah, you're a terrible person. And um she, she just got off stage, she performed, but with the talented, beautiful, super cool ombre. I'm so mad Hi. I miss you again. I'm sorry. It's okay. And I said I was, I was just waiting for this apology. We'll catch you next week. Yeah, do you, I'm, I'm do so you believe sorry. his apology? I'm I believe sorry. it. I'm sorry, Ombre. And I and I'm just this this shit has to stop. Because I was sitting here and I was like, damn, I want to see Ombre. I didn't think you were going on so soon, but how you feeling? It's good to see you. I feel good. How was, it was the set? A great show. How was the crowd? They was lit actually. I had like a whole group in the front that was like singing all the words and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was the first time that ever happened to me. Like, how does that feel? Like, you know, it's when you weird. step out there and so many but people know the on. lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little invasive, though, no? Invasive? Like, <laughs> yeah. Invasive. Like, stop singing about my life. You don't even know me. <laughs> like, I know my like words. Yeah, like, like, what you say? Like, they know my government name and shit. It's not Ombre? No, it's Ombre. Damn, I just exposed right? myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Y'all can look it up. Oh, well, then let's let's get into some deep dive shit. Because I know you've done press and I was going to ask the regular shit. I'm... Your album cover, well, EP cover, what do you call it <laughs> at this point? Everything's an album. Yeah. One it's of a the collection. Best, it's a, yeah. One of the it's best covers EP. I've seen in a while. Thank you. Who in that picture from your family, you was like, nah, I don't really rock with you like that. You can't be in this photo. I'm dead. Because we all have those family members. You, I want to see your text messages when that photo came out. I know people like, oh, like word, the family group. Yo, word. she's doing her. Like, her I album cover that. and like you so it's like yo you, that. I don't I know if you really can be in it yeah. I definitely got some angry calls like why you ain't tell me you wasn't da -da -da, you wasn't here but I was just like bro I have a big family like that's just like mm. I'm not gonna get everybody every time right yeah so you know but I mean there's nobody in the picture that I would be like I don't watch him I mean it's my family so. anybody behind the lens that was sitting there a little salty <laughs> like yo I could fit right there like they was there but not in the shot <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, my grandma wasn't in it. Well, one of my grandmas. Okay. But oh, she yeah. Was the, in the, other video, granny, so. the other granny is mad. She's salty she about that. She was a little like. Oh, for sure. If one granny made it and the other one didn't? <laughs> nah, it's <laughs> granny beef Especially now. Especially if that was granny's yeah, house. No, it's was granny that beef. granny's house? She got granny beef now, for sure. <laughs> It's definitely granny. There beef. is always some, and and bless everyone that still has both their grandparents. There sure is some right. grandmother beef. I feel it like is all the time. Like, yeah, Granny's beef. Mm, yeah. She all right. She don't even know how to cook. Yeah. You know what it is? She don't even know how to yeah. cook. Her, her greens her, is her terrible. Her son doesn't treat you right, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if she's happy, I am. Yeah. No, granny. No, you not. You miserable. Um, how has things been since the project came out? 
because I I had seen you first time we met in person. Uh, the project was about to come out and you played me a bunch of stuff. I showed yeah. up super late to and your... And you was like, this shit trash. I did, yeah. Don't put it out. That was my... And you went against I everything I said, <laughs> which I thought was weird because I'm your A&R. But um, how's yeah. everything been since? Um, it, It's been great. Uh, I feel like... This Don't is, give me the political answer. How's it been? It's not political. I'm just thinking about what I want to say. But mm. um, this is the first time I've put out a project and I've received like this much love i mean obviously it's like with time you grow as an artist and shit but i don't know i just feel different this time for some reason it's like i'm making a statement Mm -hmm. it's like who i am type Mm -hmm. of thing you know and you think that you think that derives directly from the writing because i felt that way the first time i heard it i was like oh i know this person now maybe yeah (laughs) i mean i did intentionally make it more personal than Mm. like my other projects just because I'm so like I don't know what's the word but yeah I don't know I get it <laughs> so, uh, the, the, the project to me was uh, one of my favorite projects of the year so far uh, I love you heard it here first has there yeah. been an artist that's DM'd you that you looked at and was like not working with you a lot but it's not like, like one that we would know not like just someone that says oh, no, check out no, my no. SoundCloud it just be like random people I'd be like what the fuck? You go to their page and they pay. First of all, they page be private. Mm. That's always stupid. You want to work? How, how, how much checking music? Yeah, like, <laughs> like what's your feature rate? And then, like, there's no music to be found on their page. Like, mm. why would I <laughs> give me a link or something? Yeah. So. <laughs> well, no. Then they put it in the DMs and you can't even click the link. Yeah. I'm not going out my way to copy and paste this <laughs> and then go to my browser <laughs> to listen to your fucking yeah. SoundCloud music. What are you working on? Um. As far as like the 2023, is it a new project coming? I feel like I have an album in me. Right like already now. recorded or just like not already recorded, but I've I've literally in, in the past matrix. in the past like two weeks I've recorded like 20 songs. Wow! In a in a matter of like four sessions. Okay. So like I'm kind of so in, you live in the studio. At this point, I'm in, I'm in a, a crazy like mental space right now. Okay. Like feel good I, I feel inspired but also i'm a little heartbroken i don't want to go into details but don't need you to know. Oh, so i just been in great. the studio you know what i'm saying just doesn't the doesn't the greatest but art the come music from a is broken good heart? though you can take like, that line yeah. i'm making you some to. crazy shit you say what doesn't the greatest art come from a broken heart you were the first one that said that right yeah i said That's that yeah. yeah publishing yeah uh you should put that on a shirt <laughs> Ombre, I'm not too, putting that on a shirt. <laughs> you can don't tell me, you can don't tell me to put it. my lyrics on a shirt, y'all. Don't, don't do that. And she looked me in my eye. I was like, you should put that on the shirt. You should. No, you I should put wear. that in a song. I really would wear Let's break some bread, Ombre. I got bills. So, you see we in a trailer. Yeah, like this is... You, look at it's this where shit. we live. You know, that sounds like a Drake line. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. No, okay. I can hear it for real. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, you were actually the person that gave me, speaking of heartbreak, the confidence to put out my first single when I played it. You were like, yo, if you like that shit, put that shit out. Even though it was like a sentence, it only took four years for someone to resonate with me with advice. <laughs> she was, I was like, yo, I got all these other records people tell me I should put out. And then I played the one that's now the single, I want you more than you ever know. You're like, man, if you like that shit, put that shit out. Fuck them. Facts. I was like, mm. I never thought of it that way. <laughs> it's so simple. It's so simple when Ombre says it, right? Facts. Oh, shit. Okay. Thank you for that. We're not um, at the Billie Eilish uh, great music, streams, but way. we're doing okay. You don't mean that. It's fine. I understand. That was the only time you heard it. It's cool. I listen to your project. Yo, you didn't down. We don't got a verse. Aubrey, go on your phone right now. If that record ain't in there, that's fucked up. I know it's not. If that record ain't in there, Aubrey, that's fucked up. I think I DM'd her the link too. No, but no, <laughs> that's you crazy. Know the hell you and did. she ain't got it. I was don't waiting to see if she'd answer and be like, "Rory was the one I didn't." <laughs> Do not lie. Do not lie. Aubrey, I love I'm to lie. Okay, click the link. <laughs> She, you made it I so it simple already. for her. No, but listen. Hit you for the remix, yeah. something. <laughs> you so, ain't have to laugh like that at me <laughs> asking for the. No, you could have done like the ha ha laugh. You ain't have to <laughs> to be like, yo, I, I want you on the remix. It. I really would do it. No, you wouldn't. You think I would sit here and lie to you? Yes. And tell you your music is yes, good. Yes, I think that's why we get along. Yeah. <laughs> Ombre, you look like you would look right in somebody's eyes and be like, I that's why though. she heartbroken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ombre, what you take did accountability? What you did? Accountability. What happened? What happened? What role did you play in the That's Broken Heart Club? <laughs> Accountability time. Yeah. No, but listen, let me tell you something. Oh, are you about to lie now? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to tell you 
I like your music if I don't like your music. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That is where I draw the line with lying. <laughs> That's fair. Well, listen, we thank you for stopping by kicking it with us. Uh, you know that we support you. We we, we behind you, and uh, we look forward to seeing you do major, major things. For sure. Appreciate you. Kicking it with you right. Ombre. <laughs> All right, we back, man, with another guest, uh, Young Nudie. How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good. You smell man. good. I smell it. I <laughs> smell it. It's loud? Oh, it's, it's loud. Very I smell loud. it. It smell good. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Your man. first made in America? Good. This your first one? Yeah, my first one. You enjoying it? My first one, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh off uh, EA Monster and off uh, the Cali joint. Oh, yeah, man. Did uh, Nudie did, did? Did he do one of those fucking IG stories? What? what? <laughs> Cali. Who the fuck? Wait, what Cali? You not on Cali's album? Nah, hell nah. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole verse that says that, though. <laughs> It's on the. I uh, know I'm not tripping. It's not on that track list. I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. I'm tripping. No, my bro. boy on no drugs. <laughs> I could be. This he could be the clip. <laughs> Pull that shit up. It wasn't on the first one when he changed it. It's all good. Nah. I'm okay, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make one of the motherfuckers. Ain't oh, he did the just, same did, thing he did to Jid. Yeah, we, 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 <laughs> yeah. We gonna we gonna put it in the universe. Uh, how you feeling on your first Made in America? Who you excited to see performing this year? Shit myself Cause it's my first time yeah. Great answer So I'm performing And I'm gonna watch that shit Great answer So we had <laughs> first, um, uh, first time performing Off the EA Monster Nah 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 This ain't gonna be My first time performing So I don't got for it But I'm finna see How they react to it yeah. yeah We had Jid We sat down with uh, J.I.D. yesterday Yeah Obviously uh, Georgia Yeah man You a fan of You a fan of Jitty Jid Yeah my boy yeah, Fuck with Jitty Jid Oh, y'all yeah, from the same side? Yeah, my boy from the east side. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah he went He went crazy yesterday. Yeah. He went crazy yesterday. I seen it. I seen it. Yeah, he went standing crazy. Standing on the pole and shit and shit and all that crazy. shit. Crazy. Superstar shit. Yeah, yeah, Superstar yeah. shit. He, he more, he more, he, I ain't standing out there on no poles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, you don't got that. You you too late. You cool, nah, laid nah, back. Nah, laid you ain't back. jumping I'm in that pit. I walk through the crowd. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, hell nah. Hell nah. I'm too big for that shit anyway. Uh, Jid, Jid had talked about just that whole era of East Atlanta coming up. Um, with Earth Gang and, and just that mm-hmm. whole, I don't know, like 2012 to 2018 type shit. Yeah. Um, and he, he had brought you up as well. What, what was it like being that like second generation? I almost feel like Gucci, A&R, that whole shit. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Put that together. What was that era like when y'all was coming up? Like what, you watching all the other shit happen? Yeah, just music wise, the uh, scene in Atlanta at that time. Uh, sh- <laughs> I don't know. I can't really, I mean, you know. Uh, I probably went down a different path than where G went. Uh, mm. You feel me? So I probably mm. seen a little more other type of shit than what yeah. he seen. But yeah. you know, it just you know typical hood shit type shit. But the music went, you know, but made set the tone for the shit for mm-hmm. the hood sure. and shit. How um how did you and Twenty One connect? Oh, that family. Mm. That's yeah. Atlanta shit or yeah. for music yeah. shit. Family. Gosh, gotcha, gotcha. So with the EA Monster project, um, I noticed you don't have t- pretty much no features. What about Baby Drill. Yeah, yeah, free baby drill. By the way, too, baby drill. So, is that something that you prefer to do? Is like your project? You like to lock in alone with producers and just your team and you don't really lean on, on the features. Shit where we're like, yeah, I ain't that feature shit be like a headache. And it shit becomes too much. To, yeah, getting I ain't, verses cleared man, and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting yeah. verses clear. Got to wait for a nigga to respond and all that shit and shit. Yeah. So I just be like, you know, fuck that shit. And then then it, it was more like a mistake, so it was more for me. So okay. I did whatever the fuck I wanted to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? So speaking Instead of like speaking of waiting for people to respond, who's some some rappers, some artists that you've ever reached out via DM social media and said, yo, listen, you know, I got this joint, but they never responded. Uh, or maybe they never seen it. I don't know if they seen it, responded or not, because I don't see shit. I, I, oh shit, I had to go through my shit to see who I long got down. Hey. I think I'll ask a couple. I know for sure I'll probably have about three artists. Okay. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. So, Nudie, uh, who's some of the artists coming up in Atlanta right now that you got your eye on that you like? I like this kid right here. Um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Baby Drill. Baby Drill? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, free shouting again. Mm-hmm. Tight shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, since Versus has been kind of. On his, I want to say it was on his way out, but it held us down during quarantine. What you thought of the Jeezy and uh, Gucci versus seeing them on stage as, as an Atlanta that native? Shit, that shit was hard. Yeah? That shit was hard. Gucci, I feel like a lot Gucci, of people in Atlanta Gucci like Gucci came how we wanted him to come. I mean, right. I can't speak for everywhere right, else and right. shit, but you know, the right. six, like, yeah. you know, we like, you know, 
not encouraging the bullshit, yeah. but you know, we enjoyed that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We get to see the old Gucci for a little minute type shit. Yeah, now, how did, how did you feel about Amaretta's record when she was breaking down <laughs> Atlanta and people that, if you from this part, you not from Atlanta? Like she was saying, you're not from Atlanta if you from here, from here, from here. I know everybody yeah. in Atlanta has something to say about that. Like, did y'all support it? Like, yo, she right. <laughs> and did you care? Yeah. <laughs> nah, me, I, I ain't care. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm from East Atlanta. I'm from Zone City. Okay. You know what I mean? But, uh-huh. I don't, you know, I really can't speak on shit. You right. feel me? Like, I be in the streets, so. <laughs> <laughs> I have a certain type of shit. I can't really speak on shit. <laughs> Nudie, like, oh, I can't speak on that shit. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'll be yeah. chilling. Yeah, like, yeah, get a hospital public school yeah, shit yeah, off yeah, that you want to yeah, do. Yeah. I don't know what she talking about. Peace to her, though. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of Gucci, uh, we we've talked about a lot on this podcast that we think Gucci is probably the most underrated A and R in hip hop history. As far as Gucci putting these, how I feel outside looking in this whole generation of new Atlanta artists on, like what does Gucci really mean to Atlanta outside of his actual music? I'm saying the behind the scenes shit and like what he really does shit. for this new generation. Atlanta, yeah, just Atlanta. For me, Gucci, shit, home ain't snitch. Mm. He ain't went out bad on camera, none of that type of shit and shit. Mm. So, you know, you know, I fuck with it. You right. feel what I'm saying? Tight right. shit, tight shit. I mean, a real nigga, I can fuck with it. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Did you listen to the uh, the new Jeezy and DJ Drama, Gangsta Grill? I mean, out here, nah, I ain't listen to it. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> shit. Spot. Not not saying I don't fuck with Jesus. No, no, I know what you mean. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah. We so ain't even talking about that. Energy don't fuck yeah, with. Nah, I yeah. fuck with your shit, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you just didn't tap <laughs> but in nah, with it. I, I don't tap into none of like the new shit that all the old artists make. I really just still listen to their old oh, shit. Oh, okay. You, yeah. you like me. Yeah, I'm, I yeah, like, oh, if it's classic yeah. old shit, I keep running yeah, that back. Because yeah. you don't want to be disappointed. Tiny, like, tiny, like Mike in the Wizards jersey. It's like, oh, it look. it's like, damn, Mike, you can't look like that. We love you in the Bulls jersey. You know what I mean? Like, not the Wizards. Hey, man. Shit. What's up? Uh, yeah. with, with, with tour coming up, and obviously you getting booked for, for festivals, headlining, shit, last act. What's the city you can't wait to go to next year or whenever the tour is announced? I ain't gonna count. I'm gonna keep it a brick. Jack, that shit was just super crunk that time I went. I'm ready to go to D.C. again. D.C.? DC yeah, is a good yeah, city, well, man. That one of the cities I wouldn't even DC expect for them city. to fuck with me like that. Like I shit most of us because we from, we yeah. from New York. Anytime I went to DC is when I found out about Atlanta music. Like yeah. they be on Atlanta shit way more than I think any other city on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. DC is like an Atlanta cousin to me for some reason. Yeah. Anytime shit, even we talk about Gucci. I figured out about Gucci mixtapes because I went down to DC. Mm-hmm. Like DC is on Atlanta shit all the fuck yeah, away. DC, yeah. Who's one of the artists that? You looking forward to like really getting in the studio and just learning from and like working with like one on one. Shit like that really don't come to my mind for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie to you. Shit. It's just if shit happens, shit happens. But I don't I don't really be looking to be like, oh, I'm ready to work with this artist. It's going to be part of my dream. Like, shit. Part of my dream with me being no goddamn rapper, but it happened. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So, shit. So why not? <laughs> part of my dream wasn't even me being a rapper. Yeah. So, so, all of this shit is I right. Like, yeah, fuck, I didn't even think about this. Uh, I'll, take, I'll go on with the flow, man. I feel you, man. Yeah. I feel you. So, what's 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 next for uh, Young Nudie? What you got coming up? Uh, I'm going to drop an album. I'm gonna drop an album right before my tour, so you know we can ha- we can listen to EA Monster. They gonna be mm-hmm. on sync in their ears, and then you know the mm-hmm. album gonna come out, mm-hmm. be some new shit for one to eat up. Mm-hmm. Then I got a whole catalog, just a whole bunch of music to perform. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, tight shit. We gotta catch Young Nudie on tour for sure. Gotta catch because I because yeah, I want to see yeah. I want to see Brian Kelly with you, Brian DJ Kelly <laughs> with you. <laughs> We gonna get the verse that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I got, won't be called alive. He gotta lay it down. He gotta lay the verse down that night. That's giving me mad, bad notes and shit. Happy yeah, starting yeah, interviews man. out terribly. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, Nudie, we appreciate you stopping by. We ain't gonna keep you too long, man. Because I, I listen, I smell it, I see it. I know you ready to spark up. I'm ready to do the same. Th- I'm ready to do the same yeah. thing. We appreciate you stopping by, kicking with us, man. It's a pleasure meeting yes, you, bro. Yes, thank you. I know. I know y'all had to travel across across the grounds and shit. Appreciate yeah. that, BJ. Thank you. I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate yeah. y'all. Pre- Young Nudie. Appreciate you, Jay Z. Finna take the do say black motherfucker oh, with me. That's yours. Take it. <laughs>